Hello, welcome to Tabletop CP After Dark. Uh, hopefully you guys can hear me. Let me know if the sound is okay. Um, but yeah, we're here playing uh, Octoon Panzer for the first time. We uh, haven't played this before. I've read through the rules several times and I've watched a few videos. Uh, and I think we're ready to begin to fumble our way through it, but I think we'll do okay. So simple mission. Uh, Andre is going to be starting over here within six inches. I'm going to be starting within six inches of this board edge. And I have to clear the various pieces of ambush terrain so that I can punch a hole through this village so that the advance can continue. And Andre has to stop me. So I'm going to be getting one, um, one victory point for every piece of ambush terrain that I clear. There's one here, one here, one here, one along the hedge, one in the church, one in the restaurant, one in the rat bastard, and then one along the hedge over there. And two of them are strong points. So the, the three, uh, of them. three strong points. Well, you might as well pull it out. I've got a card. Oh, pull what out? Another strong point. Oh, <laughs> you have a card <laughs> that you can play it before the game begins or whatever. Uh, it says I can play at any time. So, uh, okay. three strong. All right. Three strong points. It is. So I figure, uh, I'll try and jerk you around here with that, uh, reasonably soon okay um so let's see here so yeah that's the mission um for so i'm bringing a pershing and a greyhound andre's bringing a panzer four and a hetzer um so we'll go over this real quick and let me just now to start recording now i will so i don't forget about it all right. Okay, so those are the four or the uh, asset cards and all that. Uh, so game length is going to be forty-five minutes. That's not real time. That's game time. So this is how we keep track of the turn or the game length is forty-five minutes. So the top is ten-minute intervals. The bottom is one-minute intervals. So each turn is three. We each get to do three things for, with each tank. And then we roll one or two d6 in advance time that much. So when it totals 45 minutes, the game is over. And the reason that uh, you can pick is if you're winning and you want to speed it up, you roll two d6. If you're losing and you need time, you roll one d6. And I'm not, I don't remember exactly how you determine. <laughs> I'll have to look that up, but I know that that's, uh, there's a choice involved. Um, so uh, this game is going to be 45 minutes long. And Andre has told me he's has another strong point. So where are you going to put this? Uh... I haven't decided yet. Okay. I might wait for you to target something. Oh, you can. Oh, okay. It says any time. So it, okay. It'll be a surprise. It'll be you, a surprise. you won't see it coming. <laughs> <laughs> hey, there's a strong point there. Just out of nowhere. Uh, <laughs> uh, I think we're pretty much done. So we're ready to begin. So we have our order tokens here. And these are the order that the tanks are going to go in. So I will just flip these over. I'm not going to do this every time on camera, but we'll just kind of miss these around a little bit. And he pretended like he doesn't Oops. remember that that was number two. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we'll let Andre do that. Okay. So I pick one, then you pick one. Well, can I pick number one? Oh, we weren't supposed to memorize it. <laughs> yeah, so I got four and three. <laughs> yeah, Andre was right. I memorized them better okay. than he did. So the next thing we got to do is we got to do a radio check. So, well, actually, we should probably deploy our tanks first. Let's let's go ahead and just get the deployment over with real quick. So within six inches of your edge. Okay. Do we both, does somebody deploy first or? I don't think it matters. Well, for a line of sight, it could, um, especially since you know I'm going first. Right, you deploy first since you're uh, going first, and you're defending. Since you're the defenders, you go first. Okay. I got a tank. Or do I do both of them? Do both, yeah. 
Hmm. Why is your gun sticking way up in the air like that? Because I saw a bird shooting long range. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want to hit the church. All right, in or out, man. Do I go faster on roads? No. Nope. There's no mechanic for that. There is a scoot mechanic. One of your actions you can do is uh, extra D6 and movement. But it says how fast your tanks are. I think they're six, six inch range for both of them. All right, so I'll put my uh, Pershing. I guess we'll just put it on the road right here. Actually, so can we drive through the hedgerows? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so if you're right up against it, you can just go right through it. If you're not against it, you have to take a skill test to see if you make it through. Okay. And I have my Greyhound can't go through hedgerows because it's got wheels. It's a wheeled vehicle. Uh, let me check the comments, see how many people we got here watching our game here. Let's see here. We got Joseph McNally's here. Uh, Delaney's here. How's it going? Stevens is here. He's in the game tonight, commanding the Greyhound. Wild Bill is in the house. Padilla. Tower of Trolls Gaming. Hey, guys. Our buddy Simon Norburn's here. Uh, Pulp Alley is here as well. Dave, thanks for stopping by. We need to play that again. I want to do that. Yeah. Uh, I like that. I want to do that. Another Napoleonic one again. I guess, <laughs> cool. Uh, let's see, did we cover the components? That'll be in the video. I didn't, we didn't do it on the live stream. Uh, uh, Eagle Shams here. And Richard Kerr. All right. So are you done deploying? Uh, aren't you de done deploying? Oh, oh I was waiting for you to get done. Oh, I'm. I still can uh, change it up if you want. Um, yeah, I'm not. I'm gonna do that then. Okay. All right, and then I'm gonna put my greyhound over here. There's a convenient path through this whole thing. Okay. Um. So radio check. So I believe we need a four plus. Let me just check the table real quick. Depending on your commander, is it? Yeah, your commander skill. The radio check. So we both have top level commanders. Uh, yeah, so we both have a veteran commander in the force. Sorry for the live stream might be a little slow tonight because we're having to read the rules and stuff here. Um, what? You just came in. Activate tanks. Yes. Yeah. You just came in. And you always get a free move. Like moving is one is you get two. You get so you get a move and then a special action. Okay. So you can always move every turn. That's a huge difference from what a tanker. <laughs> yes, it is. Because in that game, there are times where you just don't just get to do sat it. there wondering. <laughs> When Why I am I out here without any cover? So I, I like that already, is, uh, being able to um, just move right away. And you can actually move twice, too. Uh, radio check. Where the hell is it? R. 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 Page 20. Pirate um, tanks. Radio checks. Okay, so train commander, veteran commander, highest grade. So uh, you're a two plus. Yep. And I'm a three plus. All right. Uh, Why uh, am I low or higher than you? Because German veteran commanders are better than American. Yeah, better radios. No, you're better. You need a two plus. I need a three plus. Oh, just. My veteran's better than your veteran? Yeah. Interesting. Yeah, where did my two uh, turn marker things go? Right there. No, not that. The, the numbers. What the hell did I do with them? Did you put your numbers? Where did I do with all those? Remember the four numbers we just drew? 
Yeah. Oh, they're right here. Do you have yours? You took two. I took two. Okay. So, all right. So radio check. So we got to put those. Do we put them on the tanks first or do we do the radio check? First? Um, you got to do the radio check first. All right. All right. So radio check. I'm a three plus with a veteran American commander. Andre's a two plus with a veteran German. So I passed the radio check. And so does Andre. Whew. Just. Just. So that, that means, the radio check means you can choose which order to put your tanks. Like you get to pick what you want to go first, what you want to go second. If you don't, I think it's random. I guess it doesn't really matter because I'm going first and second. Yeah, but I mean, it matters within your own two tanks, I guess. Um, well, not so much this turn, but yeah. Not this turn, yeah. Uh, and we did deploy. So I've deployed my Pershing uh, over here behind the hedge, blocks line of sight. And then my Greyhound is over there. And then Andre, meanwhile, has put, put his Panzer IV in the uh, barnyard area. And then his Hetzer is way over there on the road on the, on the far edge of the board. And I think that'll do it. Well, you still got to put your markers by your tanks, right? I did. So the Pershing's three. Oh, you put it. And the you Greyhound is well, four. You're not supposed to flip them over yet, though. Oh, well, okay. Next turn, we won't flip them over. <laughs> <laughs> so we're on here. Should I put it? Wherever, I guess. Wherever you'll remember. I think you, I thought you were supposed to put them by the uh, actual tanks. No, you can put them on, the, on here. You can put them on the card. We're new. Sorry, we're fumbling through this. Um, all right. So go ahead and reveal. We'll pretend like I haven't revealed yet. So the Panzer IV under Mill Holland's going first, followed by Lankowski. Oops, I got it backwards. <laughs> <laughs> so much for the radio check. <laughs> that's why I put them by the tanks. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And that's it. So I think we're ready to get started. Hopefully. <laughs> we're not forgetting anything here. Uh, so I think pretty much next thing that happens is you... Um, so you issue one move order. So you got your move orders are... It forward, left or right turn, reverse or halt. Okay. So if you're halted, you get better. It's easier to shoot. Um, and then, so the actions you can take. So let's go over the actions real quick you can do. So you, you get the free move one. And when you turn... If you do a turn command, you move the tank uh, forward four inches and rotate it to 90 degrees to the left or the same to the right if you do a right turn. And you can do that at any point in the move. Okay. Um, so the non-movement actions, tactical actions are called. You can do a pivot, which means that you just kind of pivot the tank. Like you'd put your finger there and then you'd move the other track to your... So you just pivot... A little bit. Okay, so I, if I wanted to straighten out, I could just, that would be a pivot? Yeah. And you can also do a free pivot. That's an automatic one. If you take a test, uh, if you pass a skill check with your driver, you can do a pivot at it for free at any any time in your uh, move. Okay. Uh, but there's always a chance. So if you fail a skill check, you get a calamity. So mm -hmm. something, there, there, there could be a, something bad happen if you try it too many so times. So having the drivers suck might not have been such a great... Uh... Yeah. I think most of the stuff I've seen, people always make the drivers bad. But okay, because it they you know shooting and command, I guess but, can be more. Important. Yeah, so you get the you can do a pivot maneuver. So if you want to move other than ninety degrees, if you want to turn, a, other than ninety degrees, you've got to do a pivot. Yes, and if you want to move at full speed and still change direction, you have to do a pivot. Okay. Like so, what? How far of a move do you move at full speed? Uh, you can so the six inches. Okay. So the I Greyhound have, can go eight. Okay, so you get a free move and then an action. Yep, and then so your. So action, what are my other action options? All right, so you got pivot, scoot. So scoot is uh, another D six of movement. You pick. Roll 2d6, pick the highest, unless your running gear is damaged, and then you pick the lowest. Uh, if you want to scoot backward, you roll 2d6 and pick the lowest. Okay. Forward is 2d6, pick the highest. Uh, you can pop smoke. 
So you got a smoke grenade, so your commander will just throw it out the hatch, and it okay. obscures you from the target. But it also obscures you from shooting. So it makes it harder for you to shoot and to be shot. Okay. And you have smoke. Your two tanks have smoke shells. Okay. So you, actually, you could actually fire a smoke shell at me and hit my tank with it. It's automatic to hit with a smoke shell. And then that would obscure me from shooting you. Um, machine gun an enemy tank. So if you're... You got to be within six inches of the target tank. And if I'm unbuttoned, you can force me to be buttoned. So that's another thing you have to decide if you want to be unbuttoned or not. What's the... If you're unbuttoned, I think that the spotting is a free it's a free action. Okay. If you're, if you're buttoned, you have to spend an action to spot somebody. Okay. And there is a spot in target. So you, if you're unbuttoned, you could spot and target in the same, the same turn, same action. Uh, so machine gun enemy tank. So you can't fire until you've spotted and targeted somebody. You can do a snap fire, but it's like you have to roll like two sixes. <laughs> it's really, <laughs> it's really hard to hit. Okay. But it's you can fire. You can, but it's not a good idea. A clear ambush terrain. So that's something I'll probably do. Yep. But you, you, I mean, you could probably do it too, if I wanted to give you victory points. points. <laughs> <laughs> If I start feeling sorry for your pathetic uh, attempt. So, yeah. So I can use HE rounds. Um, I can use my machine gun to clear it. Uh, load. So you got to load. So loading main gun. Okay. So you have... Uh, so do we start loaded or... We start unloaded. So it's a two-step process with the with this bigger guns. So you'd okay. actually have to do one action to put it like grab it yeah and then the other action to load it okay so you can do a test with your gunner to just put it straight in yeah um so whatever your gunner is if you just if you pass the test you skip that middle step and just load it but okay. again there's could be something bad could happen all right and if you fail you just don't do anything so activating uh, unload main gun hold on a second um so you can unload so if you have the wrong type of shell uh, spot target, uh, aim at target, and fire main gun. Those are your actions. Okay. So I'm going to move forward six inches. Okay, hold on. Let me get my camera set up. So you're giving, you're uh, doing the, so really you're supposed to put these on there. We're supposed to put these, pre-position them. Oh, and they're supposed to be so you can't see them. So, yeah. right. So I'm going to try that, and this guy's going to do that. Yeah, you got to do it ahead of time, and then you have to do you have to do the move as pre-planned. But the action you can. So we've got to lay the all spot. the uh, the movement. So you've done all your movement. I put my two commands on my tanks. Yes. All right. Um, and then you're going to move forward. So let me uh, just switch here to my other camera. Let's see here. Two. All right. Um, All right, we're ready to begin. So we've laid out our move command. So there's an automatic move forward, left, right, backwards, halt. And then you can do an action, one action. Um, and then there's some variables in there as well. So Andre is going first. Tank one is Mel Holland, which is your Panzer IV. So go ahead and reveal your, your move. I'm totally confused about this. Uh... That's the Panzer IV. Yeah, I know. You can switch sides if you want. <laughs> I mean, it's going to help you. <laughs> it uh, it is because uh, the way they are on the table. Uh, okay. It's just okay. <laughs> All right, but now my moves are on the wrong cards. <laughs> oh no, wow! The same. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now you're confusing me. All right, yeah. so he's going to go forward. So he he has a move of six inches with the Panzer IV. So he will drive up six and then there's a whole variety of actions. I won't go over a whole list right now. 
I went over them with Andre. So do you know what you want to do with your action? Um, well, I've got a question. So I can't uh, spot anything or no. Okay. So there's really nothing I could do right now. Nope. So you can do the scoot action. So I might as well scoot. So that's 2d6. 2d6, pick the highest. Um, I'm going to pick the five as the highest. Okay. And then you just move another five inches straight ahead. There you go. So when in doubt, move. Okay. So as I mentioned, Andre, I'm not going to do a lot of comparison with what a tanker. We have played that a lot. Um, but one of the biggest thing issues that I had and Andre as well is that a lot of time you couldn't move. So the fact that one of the two things you can do is move all the time is is a welcome addition to this rule rule set, I think. Because it was frustrating. Like, you're just sitting there and you can't do anything. <laughs> it's like, okay. <laughs> I'll so just sit here then. I want to put an AP shell. Oh, you already did the scoot. Oh. You want to take the scoot back and, and load a or try to load a shell instead? Um, actually. Since we're still new here, do you want to rethink that? I I definitely uh, think having a uh, okay a shell in the breach might be more important than being a so little farther up. You can do it in two steps. You can just try to go straight in with a, you need a two plus, and you can load it right in without going into the. Uh, oh, that load. would and that would allow me to do something else next turn. Yeah, right. Assuming I can actually see anything. And with a veteran gunner, I mean it's. What, well, it's one in six, roll a one. so eighteen percent chance of uh, <laughs> okay. failure. Thank you. But I don't uh, really see the point because okay. I don't know that uh, I'm I'm not seeing a whole lot of targets out there. All right, so he's just going to play it safe and just go into the. Uh... So basically, yep. his loader just grabbed it. It's in his hands right now. He hasn't put it into the gun yet. Okay, so then I come over. I've got number two also. Yes, and I flip it. Hey, look at that! He's going straight ahead too. Well, well, actually, he's going straight ahead six. <laughs> <laughs> he also okay. has a six inch move, Lankowski. And okay. he'll do the same thing. Loading an AP shell into, or grabbing the AP shell. The loader has it in his hands now. That's how we're going to well, think about Well, actually, it. so I'm going to actually do the extra move with this guy. Scooting, okay. And so a five inch scoot. He's going to scoot on up to there. Okay. So that's it for tanks one and two then, right? Mm -hmm. So we'll move on to tanks three and four, which are the Americans. Okay. What's uh, visibility through the hedgerows? Zero. Um, yeah, I guess we don't really know that, do we? Let me look at terrain. Terrain. Oh, and line of sights from the tur or from the hatch. The hatch, yes. Uh, copy. This is going to be one of the worst live streams ever because I'm going to be digging through this rule book the whole time. <laughs> uh, sorry about that, everyone, but you're learning right along with us here. Fire main gun. Damn it. Let me go to the handy dandy index. Terrain, 48, page 48. Pages are numbered. True line of sight. So I guess you got to literally be right up against it to see. Um, Let me grab this one. But, well, so right up against it, like the side of the tank up against it, or? That's good enough. Just... <laughs> That's fine. If you're so long as some part of your hole's touching the yeah, okay. Oh man, this is going to be a pain in the butt. Can you uh, click on the internet thing? I should probably just bring the rules up on my phone. I'm trying to look at it on the internet on the computer screen is going to be a pain in the ass. Uh, what's the internet thing? Uh, this button, that little circle right there. Right there. Yep. Hey, look, they're back. <laughs> We're back. All right, so let me reveal here. 
All right, tank three for me is Andrew Cox and his purging. And I've done a forward move for him. I'm just going to go over both of them. I've done a forward move for both, both of my um, units. So we'll start off with uh, the Pershing. So I'm going to try to do a pivot. So on a 3+, plus, I get a free pivot. I'm going to try to do the free pivot as with the uh, so pivot is one of the actions you can do. You if you do the pivot action, you just automatically pivot, but you do get a chance to try to do a free pivot when you move. So I do. So Andre, if you could put your finger right there. So basically, a pivot is. Oh, the gun is <laughs> hitting your yeah. So basically, a pivot is like the width of the tank. And then if you could please move me forward six or yeah, the Pershing yeah, six inch speed. So he'll move up there. And then as part of the move, any at any time you can turn your turret any direction. Okay. Um, so we actually have to truly be sighted in on somebody to. Yeah, your turret has to be, you have to be within the uh, arc of the turret. Okay, so are you close enough to be seen through that hedgerow? Maybe. I don't know. This garage might. Well, or can you see through the hedgerow? Oh, can I? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And there is circumstances in this game where you can see someone and they can't see you because all sight comes from the the hatch, not from like the corner of the tank or something. Okay. And then the... Uh, this guy's just going to drive up. So he, uh, the Greyhound is an 8-inch move. So he's going to drive up there. Oh, I forgot I could have done a... Uh, I'm going to load, too. I'm going to put a AP shell in my hand. Because the pivot was free because I passed the check. Um, and meanwhile, the Greyhound is going to do a scoop move. So we get another three. Okay. So the Greyhound uh, had him just advance. He has an eight inch move and I scooted three more. So he's up there now. And I forgot the, since that pivot was a free action, I too grabbed an AP shell. No, you know what? I'm going to load a special, a special ammo in our grab it. Hold it in the loader's hand and prepare to load it in. So that's what it looks like now. Pershing's moving up. We got that Panzer IV down there. And I think that's pretty much it. We'll see what happens next. So is there any cover bonus for being behind the hedgerow? I don't think so. Okay. I mean, I don't, not that I know of. If you can spot me, you can spot me. And we're all, we're all unbuttoned right now, right? Yeah. Okay. All right. Now what? Um, so we move that to the middle one. Move that. That dot thing there. Ah. So we're in the action phase two. Yeah, and the numbers stay the same. We only redraw the numbers when the next turn starts. Okay. Um, so this is another, or we can move it, or is it just like the last one? Or? Yep, exactly the same. So we have to pre-position our... Um, our things face down. So the okay. So could I use a right turn to? Yeah. So you would. Well, we got to. You would have to do that. Yeah. And then we'll reveal. We'll reveal at the same time. So pre-position. And 
And I think we're probably ready for... I think we're ready. Hopefully we're doing this right. We have moved, now moved into second action of the first turn. So all the numbers stay the same. So Andre will be one and two in all three of these. And then when the next turn starts and we determine how much time has passed, we will redraw the numbers and see what order we go in. All right, Andre, what are you doing with tank one? Right turn. A right Clyde. turn Clyde. So it's going to be a four inch move and then a 90 degree pivot. Get my camera. So you're gonna oh, be coming. So out. I come up four inches first. You can be. You can do it in whatever order you want. Or hold on a second. If you you can do it before you move, after. Okay. How, however you want to do it. Are you ready? Yep. Okay. So I could pivot ninety. Yeah, but you only get or, a four inch move. And then moving four. And then I can side shot do a uh, <laughs> scoot, scoot, fuck a one inch scoot. Oh, go right out and <laughs> open right, side and armor. Then, uh... <laughs> Luckily, I can't shoot you because I'm not loaded yet. Nice. So you should get to be able to get out of there. All right. So Mel Holland, uh, he did the right turn. His his plan was to go around the edge, the corner there, and then scoot which is a good plan, but he only got a one inch scoot. So he's sitting out there right in the open with his side armor facing the Pershing. Luckily for him, the Pershing is not loaded. Otherwise it could have been big trouble. Uh, so that's it for Mel Holland. So next up is Lankowski with the Hetzer. What was his order? Uh, so he was doing that. Straight so forward. I've got to decide, am I going to plow that way or do I want to try and pivot? Yep. So you get the free pivot action and you have a three plus or no, your driver is a one star. So to get that free pivot, you need to roll a four plus. So if I don't get it, can bad things happen to me? I think if you fail the check, yes. Okay. If you roll a one, a calamity, I'll double check. And so, if you, but if you just fail it out just normal, I think you just drive forward, I'll, just, I'll double check it. So I got a six inch forward. Yep. Yeah, and you're touching it, so you can just go right through it. If he wasn't touching it, he would have to take a test to get through it. And technically, there's a hole created there, but... Right now, I don't think it matters. Want me to break it in half? No, <laughs> no please, no. <laughs> okay, so he's moved up. What's his action going to be? Um, his action will be to... Uh, Grab an AP shell? Uh, he's actually going to try and throw it all the way in. Okay, so three plus, he got it. So the gunner of the... Or the loader of the Hetzer. Gunner and loader are mixed up into one roll here. Has loaded an AP shell. Okay, now it's the Americans. All right. So three. What do I want to do here? It's a damn shame I can't get you right now. Damn shame. It's a damn shame. Uh, so my... Oh, I was doing a halt command. Because I was going to blast your ass. <laughs> um... So Cox and his Pershing, I had issued a halt command, which would have been great if I had thrown the shell in fully. But sadly, oh man, that's a really wasted opportunity because I could have nailed that, that Panzer IV on the side with that Pershing special ammo. Uh, okay, well, um, I'll just finish loading. I'll just finish loading. That's all I can really do. And with the Greyhound also had a halt order. But he's got a he's gonna try to clear that ambush terrain there and try to get a victory point. So let's see how that works. Um, Uh, 
Oh man, I had a card I could have loaded, auto loaded a or shell. <laughs> Um, okay, so I'm going to try to clear the ambush. I think I have to be... So I have the 50 cal on top. I am within six of it. So do we always have... If we play a card, do we redraw cards? or how does... Yeah, yeah, you replenish your hand. So we'll have a discard pile over here. And then we'll uh, fortify a defensive position which your infantry can attack. Play any time on an uncleared ambush terrain. The ambush terrain is now classed as a strong point. Oh, boy. <laughs> okay. So as Fred Stevens was loading up the 50 cal, he realized that that is a strong point. It's not just a hedge. It's There's a trench back there. They're dug in. Um, so that is now a strong point, which is going to make it harder for me to take out. And But... We press on and see if we can do it. Did you mention I played a card for that? Or Oh, no, not yet. I will, though. Uh, let's see here. Let me look at strong or clearing ambush terrain. It's in action. Uh, snap fire, fire main gun, spot target, load main gun, clear ambush terrain. What page? 30. Close assault fire. You must be within six inches, which I am. So the perform the close, perform the action. So the Greyhound has a close assault value of two. But seeing that it's a strong point, I think I only get one. Unclean. Roll a single d6. The strong point is cleared on a roll of six. And that's just, okay. For machine gun fire. So there are cards where you can re... You can take pieces that are cleared, and they're no longer cleared. <laughs> really? Yeah, it's called consolidation. Infantry move up to support your armor. Oh, nice. Choose any two pieces of cleared ambush terrain. Those pieces of ambush terrain no longer count as cleared. Sweet. All right, so I get one roll, and I need a six. Is that right? Yep. Okay. Let's see if I can get some. No different than trying to land your first mortar shot. <laughs> yeah, no problem. First roll of the game, right? Yeah. How you hard did it, it be? You did it last time. It's automatic, isn't it? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's automatic. It's automatic. All right, we're going to do some close support fire here, man. Richard Kerr. Where is that? How long has that been up there? Oh, there it is. Um, okay, needing a six. All right, it's Fred Stevens. Okay, so this became a strong point. Andre played an event card. Said, so play any time, turn one ambush point into a strong point. Uh, but I still get to do it. So normally I would use my close assault value, which is a two. But in this case, I can only roll one dice and I'm needing a six. So the 50 cow gunner is going to light up that hedge. Needing a six. It's not a six. It's a three. So that is not cleared. And if Andre were to somehow get a chance to play one of his asset cards, he could launch a Panzerfaust or some kind of um, anti-tank thing at my Greyhound. So it's kind of important that I clear that, but I didn't. And that'll do it for phase two. So we move into phase three. We keep the order the same, but we have to think about what we want our actions, our movement actions to be. So I think it's... Flows pretty good once you get going. Unless we're totally doing it totally wrong. <laughs> <laughs> there there could be that. I don't think we are, but it'd be cool if you can go on ambush. Yeah, it was that's not a choice. It's sort of like going first could be 
really not uh, a happy thing. I mean, being able to see what everybody else has done right during the turn. Yeah, no, it's that's true. Um, so you got your orders out? Yep. I think I'm going to, well, it's time to start blasting some buildings. I should have loaded an HE shell. <laughs> you uh, can always unload. How do you unload it, a tank, Travis? <laughs> there is an unload action. <laughs> there is an unload action. <laughs> All right, on to turn or on to phase three here, and we continue on. Mel Holland going first. So, what is your what is his order? Hey, wow! Look at that. Straight ahead. Six inches. Six inch move forward. We can try a free pivot. Uh, that sounds like a good plan. He's got a one star driver, so Ooh. you need a four plus. You know what? I think I'm pretty. So these hedges block line of sight. Yes. Okay. So unless the tank's right up against. Yeah. It. So I'm. There's no chance you're going to see me from Hell no. where you're at. Nope. So I'm not going to worry about having my side armor hanging out. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and get that AP shell loaded up, though. Okay. And so that is Mel Holland. Go on to Lankowski. He's driving full speed ahead. He's coming after my Greyhound, which is not good. So... <laughs> Six inches straight up. He's got a shell. Your side loaded. armor is only three, Andre. So I, I could kill you with my gray half. I get a side shot on you. And I am fast. Faster than you. So if I can outmaneuver you, I have a chance. I guess it's a race to see who can get to that hedge first. But I got to clear that ambush train first. So um, You can't just ignore it? I can. If I want to get a Panzerfaust in the ass. <laughs> <laughs> well, depends on what you're into, I guess. <laughs> All righty. <laughs> oh, okay, moving on. What's his action? <laughs> um, so other than... He's already loaded. Yeah, so I can't spot. I can't target. I can scoot. So I'm thinking scoots. Scooting forward. 2d6, pick the highest. Oh, man. I'll pick the six. He is uh, racing up. That's not good. Okay. And uh, that was me. All right. And let's see here. Oh. Um, all right. So I have a halt on Cox's Pershing. I'm going to turn my turret and my action is going to be to unload the special shell. <laughs> <laughs> In the case of the wandering, sh wandering Pershing here. <laughs> and then, uh, the Greyhound, I also had a halt order on and I'm going to again, try to clear, uh, the, the strong point. Can you hit uh, two on that thing? All right, Stevens, clear the strong point. Ah, he does not clear the strong point. So 50 cows is blazing away at that hedge, but nothing's happening there. Well, in, in six turns, I'll <laughs> sorry, you'll have uh, cleared it. Yeah, by that time, the per your, your uh, heads are going to be up there along the hedge. Uh, okay, so that's the third and final phase, or whatever you want to call it, of that turn. So now we're going to just figure out how the uh, timing timing change works. So let me look up real quick just how to uh, advance time. Let's see here, game time. So stop that. Start that. Go back overhead. So looking at the rule book here, time. Let's see, what are we under? 
equals time 23 and 67. Let's look at 67 first. Twenty three. Yeah, sorry guys, I'm looking at the rule book. Roll for time elapsed. Determine elapsed time uh, to <laughs> twenty-three tells me to go back to sixty-seven. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, gain okay. At the end of each turn during step three of the admin phase, one player rolls either one or two dice to see how many minutes have elapsed during that turn. You may choose to roll two dice if you want. Time to progress faster. So the attacker rolls at the end of the first turn and the defender after the second turn. Then you alternate rolling. So I'll roll on this one. Um, I wanted to see the admin. What else is in the admin phase real quick here? 59. Fifty-nine. Uh, Fifty-nine. Admin phase. Discard event cards. If you have not played any event cards this turn, you may discard any number of event cards from your hand. Replenishing your hand. You can draw a number of cards equal to the number of crew grade stars on your highest level commander. So you can get rid of as many as you want and replace them with up to three. Wow. Uh, cards are drawn from the event deck card, but this is a good way to try to get one of those reinforcement cards, right? Because um, I guess if we drew a reinforcement card, we'd play it right now, or would it start? Would it be at the beginning of the next turn? Uh, reinforce. So that's an event card. Yeah, depends on when it says you can play it. So it says to activate your asset card, you need to play a reinforcement or extra reinforcement event card. When you draw a reinforcement or extra reinvent, discard it and activate the number of asset, assets indicated by the cards. Assets are chosen from those you purchased. So I guess it happens in the admin phase? No, it's each one has play, and it tells you when you can play the card. Yeah, and this one says when drawn. <laughs> so as soon as you draw it, you can play it. Okay. Um, all right. So I think that's the admin phase. So are you going to discard any of yours? I'm going to. I'm thinking I will just because uh, I really liked the uh, card. Um but it, uh, I'm not seeing you ever getting hull down. Yeah, that's the one I was going to get rid of too. <laughs> I mean, I thought that I thought that was going to be so sweet. You're sitting back behind cover, and all of a sudden you're not behind cover. But um, yeah, but hold down is like very specific to you have to be like behind ambush. ambush terrain or shooting over. And a, all of the right. ambush terrain is mostly buildings. Yeah, impassable. Okay, uh, okay. So now we are technically in the admin phase. So the attacker rolls first on the time progression. The defender rolls second. So I'm going to roll, I'll just roll 2d6. All right, so seven minutes has passed. So I just scoot that up to seven. If I can, with one hand here. There we go. This goes back to one. So next turn, Andre will roll the decide one or two dice. Oh. Okay. Um, and then we can also discard uh, uh, event cards right now. So I'm going to discard one. How many are you getting rid of? One. One. And All we right. discarded the same one. <laughs> yep. <laughs> uh, and then, you, but you actually discarded two, Andre. So you can. Well, draw. I played one. Yeah. So you can play, you can draw two replacements. So I draw one, you draw one, I draw one. Yep. Okay. Hmm. So we're looking for reinforcement cards. That will allow us to play our asset cards. Um, and I'm, we're guessing some of them say when drawn, but you draw cards during the admin phase. So I guess the asset cards are played during the admin phase. Doesn't make a lot of sense, but I mean, as written, that's what it says. So I did not get a um, reinforcement card. And I don't think Andre did either. Yeah, I'm not playing it uh, right now if oh, I did. Maybe he's got one that doesn't say play when drawn, huh? Being sneaky. It says play when it totally screws with Travis. <laughs> play when worst possible timing for the Americans. Uh, okay, now we're going to gather up our numbers and redo the order of tanks. 
I'll let you shuffle those up, and then I'll pick them. <laughs> what? <laughs> you shuffle, I'll pick two. <laughs> All right, we ready? But that's going to make it like random. <laughs> okay, Andre, <laughs> we got a system now. I turn my back, he shuffle, and I'll pick two. Andre doesn't like that because it's too random. I'm going to pick that one and this one. This isn't like playing the shell game at all. Okay. Oh, radio checks. Andre's a three up. I'm a four up. I don't pass my radio check. Andre does pass his radio check. So I get to place mine how I like. And then I got to figure out what happens to me. You just randomly uh, assign oh, them. Okay. I'll just, without looking, I'll put one here and I'll put one here. There we go. So I just put face down. I did not look. So whatever order they wind up in, that's the order that I have to play in because I failed my radio check. Uh, are we ready to reveal? Yeah. All right, I'll go ahead and reveal. So I got four. This is exciting. And two. So Andre means he's got one and three. Who's one? Oh, Mel Holland and his uh, Panzer four is he's one. He's always number one. And then the Hetzer is three. So, okay, we'll assign our movement. All right. Well. Hmm. I really need one of those uh, reinforcement cards. <laughs> Badly. Uh, let's see here. What do I want to do? So I will. I'll do that. Okay, I'm done. Whenever you're ready. Okay. Uh, let me get the camera over here. Which way? Uh, I guess I'll go on this side. Where Mel Holland's going to be moving, I'm assuming. So what do you think of two tripods with two cameras since you got the controller for it? Did well, you enough out the Can software you... is my limit. Oh, it's only it only allows me to do two, two um, cameras. Cameras, yeah, which sucks. Mm -hmm. Now there's OBS, which can have any number, but it's pretty complicated. <laughs> um, maybe one day. Yeah, I wouldn't mind to have this camera. A bunch of cameras and just switch between all of them. Yeah, no, I <laughs> that'd mean, be amazing. It, it kind of makes uh, sense, uh, <laughs> especially with the newer setup here, which I think we were kind of thinking that in the old nerd cave. Mm -hmm. That's why we had those ra put those rails in, thinking we we're gonna yep. dangle a bunch of cameras. Yeah, I mean, I could. I'll look into some other. I'm sure there's other software. Uh, all right, Mel Holland. All right, what's Mel Holland's command? Left turn, Clyde. Yep. So 90 degree, 90 degree and a four inch move. He's going up to the hedge. He's up to the hedge. Okay. And do you want to turn your turret? I can do that too. Yep. And he, you can turn it anywhere you want as part of your move. Um, I'll, uh, <laughs> what did I say? He's up against it. It's fine. <laughs> I'm going gonna, 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 gonna to shoot over the hedge. I'm going to lob one in there. So <laughs> top armor it. Yeah, I'm aiming for your top armor. Okay. All right. All right. So Mel Holland's over there. What about his action? He's already got an AP shell loaded. Um, so I could try He's unbuttoned target you or we can't. I don't think you can see me yet, can you? Um, Let's check it out. So can you hold that on my hatch? Uh yeah, I guess you could technically spot me well i could spot your gun you can spot me but you can't target me why so to spot you can see any part of the tank but to target you have to actually be able to see like the hole or, or the yeah turret. i i got uh your hole over here okay so you're gonna try to spot me yep and you're already un unbuttoned right yep so let me see what happens here back to the rule book <laughs> we're, we're in new <laughs> territory here. Tank traps. 
Oh, God. Come on. Where is uh, spotting? Hit location. Fire main gun. Aim at target. All right. You have to take... Your tank may perform a spot action if you can trace a line of sight from it to any part of the enemy tank. Place your tank's targeting spotted spotted marker spotted side up next to the chosen enemy tank. Your tank is now spotted. And I believe since you're unbuttoned, it's you can do another action. So you could aim. If your tank is unbuttoned, commander, before spot, before performing a spot action, make it oh, crew test. Okay. So you have to, if you pass a crew test, it's a free action. So grab that little pair of binoculars there and bring it over to the shirt, to the Pershing. Okay, so I just stick it uh, next to the Pershing. On your hole? Yep. Binocular side or? Binocular side, yep. Okay. And then, okay. All right, so Mel Holland, he's going to spot the Pershing. He can see. Up here, we're saying he's up against the hedge. Uh, so he's put his little binoculars with the A next to him. And since he is unbuttoned, if he passes a crew test with a two plus veteran commander, that's a free action. So it is a free action, meaning he can now aim at the Pershing. So I can flip it over. Aim. Yep. So he is now aiming at the, he can see the, I mean, it's really close. It's yeah, it's it's just a little chunk here, but okay, really little. <laughs> yeah, it, it it is little, but okay. Uh, what next? So that was that. So next is tank two. Right? Actually, now that I, so because it did mention that you need to uh, not just be hitting a fender, or I mean, does the track count, or do you actually have to be? Hitting hull. You have to hull or turret, it says. Yeah, you can spot any part, but to okay. aim, you have to actually be able to. Look, so why don't you hold that end? All right, we'll give it. We'll take a look at Take it. a closer look. I know it was really close. I think it, I still might be catching a piece of the uh, hull. Uh, I'd say no. Okay. That is so, that's the front fender there, I think. Okay. So you're just spotted. Luckily, I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> All right, we've reconsidered. He didn't have, he can. Just see the front, the fender part right there. So we're switching it back to, sp to spotted. Okay, so I've got another action. You have an action, yes. Okay, so I could do a forward move. A scoot? A scoot. Yes. Come on out. Woohoo! <laughs> What'd you get, a one inch move? Two inch. Two inch move. So he's cleared this. We'll just take this off. Hey, at least you're in the open. Yeah. <laughs> if only you had a shell loaded. <laughs> I don't have anything loaded. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just sitting there. Hey, they're new to the war. They just got here. <laughs> um, okay, Ben, since I don't have another action, I can't uh, spot you now that I'm... Well, you're still... I'm still spotted. Unless or, I move out of But I can't target site. you because right. I'm out of actions. Yes. All right. All right. So tank Number two. two. The Greyhound. Greyhound is going to, he, he's halted. And we'll do, again try to clear the uh, ambush terrain. <laughs> it's going to take all day. We picked a halt action for Steven's Greyhound again. And we're going to try again to clear that strong point. Okay. If you add up every single dice I rolled, I might have gotten to a six by now. <laughs> that was his uh, whole thing. Um, and next is going to be the Hetzer tank three. So he doesn't have any shells loaded either? Nope. He's just firing the 50 cal. He hasn't loaded uh, an AP shell yet. Your tanks aren't very scary. <laughs> Not yet. The Pershing will be once. I got to start uh, clearing this terrain, though. Uh, you're going to move forward, I'm assuming? Yeah. Okay, let me get my camera around. Get a little... There 
And let's see. Okay. Let me come over here. All right, what's Lankowski doing? Hey, look at that. To no, to no surprise, he's going full speed ahead. So a six-inch move. And he's got a shell loaded? Oh, yeah, yeah. He's got a shell loaded. I have no shells loaded. And he's still got another... He's gonna do an, he can do an action. Action. I guess you might as well scoot on up to the hedge, huh? Okay. Five inches. Good thing there's this other hedge here. You got infantry dug in behind here, so you can't shoot past there. <laughs> Otherwise, you risk clearing your own strong point. <laughs> All right, so that's it for Lankowski. So last up is going to be uh, Andrew Cox and the Pershing. And hey, look, we got an enemy tank right here. I guess I should take some pictures very quick before I uh, forget. All the combatants. We'll get a picture. And I had a halt order, I believe, on Cox's Pershing. And I'm going to... I'm going to fire, I'm going to use Unto the Breach. So the Pershing, uh, we had a halt command. And we're going to use the Unto the Breach card for a free reload. I'm just going to throw an HE shell in and get ready to try to clear that uh, building there. Um, so I'll get to discard that. And I think that's it. So that was his action. I wish it was. It'd be nice if this was a free action, <laughs> and I could have fired at the building. But anyway, so I'm using unto the breach. I reload. I loaded an HE shell. That's all. All four tanks. So let's put this here. Um, these are discards, right? Yeah. So you're playing what? I'm playing unto the breach. Okay. I auto load a shell, auto force load a shell without having to take that test. Okay. Plus, it gives me another chance to draw another card. <laughs> so, getting rid of cards is. It does. It's important. Uh, I'll take a quick break and look through the comments. There's a lot of comments in here. Wow. A lot of comments. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, rules are, uh, the re rules are up for sale already, um, Bill, or William. Wow, Bill, you can pre-order them now. Uh, yeah, it's not bad so far. It's pretty smooth. I think we're doing okay with it. Uh, okay, Andre's, uh, <laughs> sorry about that. <laughs> uh, I see her checking the Too many comments, guys. Let me see here. I'll just go to that bottom there. The admiring the hedges, yeah. They're easy to make. I used uh, scrubber pads and just sprayed some spray adhesive onto them and stuck a different lichen onto it. It's important to use the brown scrubber pads, too, because the, uh, the lichen comes off. At least they'll look like just branches underneath. Hmm.
Oh, steady, man, steady. I scared Andre. <laughs> uh, so do you have your... Um... We're on to phase two here. So we got to put our movements down. Yep. Maybe I should think about moving my uh, Greyhound out of the way. Uh, I hear some uh, engine noises over there <laughs> behind that hedge, guys. Maybe we should uh, get the hell out of here. We got to clear that ambush terrain. Do we want in? <laughs> Probably. Oh, my. Yeah, I kind of miss him jumping up on the board uh, playing 40K. <laughs> Not me. <laughs> um, Been a while since we played anywhere he's had access. <laughs> okay, I think we're ready to go then. Um, yep, so you ready? So when do we get to play these other cards? Yes, when you have to have a event card that says reinforcements. Ah, uh, okay. And there's not that many of them in there. Let's see. Let's okay, see. You ready? Oh, so back to tank one. Tank number one. Will. Will. Hey, look wow. at that! He's moving forward. It's the typical Andre defense: charge headlong and into... defending. <laughs> He's def he loves to uh, counterattack. So I guess the question is, do I need to move up? Is there any bonus for how much of your tank is obscured? Or I don't think so. I'll have to look at it. You think there would be some kind of bonus for being in cover, but I don't know. I'll have to look into that. But because there should be, there should. But right most, now, most games do have that. I guess I'm still well. I think I see your hull at this point. Okay. The question is... Uh, so you did move forward slightly. Well, I moved... Yeah, well, what? Four inches? Five inches? Yeah, I cleared the hedge. Um, so I guess I could come forward uh, a little bit more just so we're... Just so you're out in the open. Well, actually... <laughs> um, your hatch is actually uh, farther back than mine. Okay. So I'm thinking I might be better off just hanging right there, and uh, I might be invisible. All right. Okay. So now I uh, try and spot you, right? I'm already spotted. Okay. So I target you. Targeting. All right. I think that's just an automatic thing, right? No idea. Yeah, the targeting is an action. I'll look at it, but yeah, you need to wait another turn to fire, though. Uh, maybe. Well, unless you got some kind of event card that lets you fire. A... It's an action. Yeah. You got an event card, special event card for that. Uh. Well, uh, we'll check it out. Let me see what targeting does. I'm pretty sure that. It just uh, automatically happens. You just use your action and aim. All right, to aim, the target has to be spotted. You can trace line of sight from your tank to any part of the enemy tank. The target must be within the front arc of your tank gun turret. Yeah. Yeah, you don't have to pass any kind of test or anything. Okay. And so you don't get any bonuses for being mostly behind that building? You think I would? Uh, fire main gun. Spotted. 
Uh, I, don't, I haven't seen anything in here that says anything about being in cover causing any kind of hitting the target. How many dice? So the top value is used for firing tanks to targeted. The bottom one's for aimed. Penalty for moving. Your tank suffers a penalty for moving and shooting. So I could have fired. Um, I just have had one less dice last one time. One less dice. So if you were to fire just spotted and move, you roll one dice. If you were to fire just spotted and not move, but you have to have the halt command to do that. Oh. Yeah, you have to, if you have any other move order, even if you don't use it, it still counts as moving. Okay. So you would have to use this halt command specifically. And be targeting and aimed and... All right. All right. Value is... But yeah, I don't see anything in here about... Uh, if a firing tank has a veteran gunner, any dice scoring a one, maybe re-roll. Oh, great. Re-roll ones. Of course. Our nemesis. <laughs> <laughs> and you do have a veteran... Oh, yeah. Dinner, right? Ben, stop, man. Just stay in here. He just went out there. Damn. Yeah, I, I don't see anything about cover causing any kind of negative modifier at all. Unless I'm missed, but I, I've looked through this many times and I haven't seen that. So, I guess I'm good. Okay. So, you're, you're done? Yep. All right. So, you just move forward. Um, yeah, I'll, uh, yeah, cool. So he just moved up. Um, there's nothing we can see where cover causes any kind of modifier. The only thing that causes a modifier is if you move, if you're aimed, or if you're aimed, or if it's just spotted, or if you're nothing and snap firing. But cover itself, aside from, I think, hold down, maybe. Causes is not a defensive bonus. Yes, right. yeah. it is. I believe it's. So there's not points. a whole lot of modifiers for shooting, except for on your own tank. If you move, if you're shooting spotted. If you're shooting aim, if you're shooting with neither. Uh, okay, so that's tank one. So tank two is my greyhound. He's halted. No, he's he's doing a reverse. <laughs> he's reversing. He's reversing, huh? Yep. Okay. Uh, here we go back to the rule book reverse. What does reverse do? R reverse 22. It's going to take forever at this pace. We're seven <laughs> minutes in the game. It's been like an hour and 15 minutes. Yeah, <laughs> we should be done by midnight. <laughs> Well, maybe at some point we'll, there'll be a point where it's like someone's going to already won. Like if I lose both of my tanks. <laughs> That's obviously a loss. If you don't have any tanks left. It's harder to uh, clear objectives. Auto loss. Uh, activation. What the hell was I looking for? Oh, reverse. Four inches backwards. That's it. I have a wheel vehicle. I should be able to go farther than that. Don't you agree? Of course. <laughs> Four inches back, that ain't nothing. <laughs> I'm like, what does that do for you? I don't know. So I'm reversing. You're still out of sight. <laughs> You're still out of sight. <laughs> um... Wait, I could try to do it and then reverse, right? Like I can. I don't think there's a. I can do my action first, and then that's what I'm going to do. Well, because you're not doing an auto move. Auto move. Don't you have to do the your free move first, or is it first? Uh, I'm not sure. If it is first, then I can't do it. Uh, let me just check the rule book here. All right, this section contains. Uh, 
tank must perform one move action. Uh, this one tank must perform one movement action per action phase, and the type of action is predetermined by the command issued at the start of the phase. Uh, I don't think I don't think it really matters. Well, if it doesn't say that it has to perform it first, which it sounds like it would have right there, then yeah, I don't yeah you it. can just uh, throw it in with your other actions. Cool. That's a very bolt action thing. Yeah. You have to move first. You can't shoot and then move. I never... Well, I thought since it was an automatic move, maybe they'd put some restrictions on it. But um, well, if we're wrong, we're wrong. It's better. Uh, it's better this way. Yeah, I think so. More and more options. More options is always good in gaming. Okay. Tank two. Fred Stevens, we're going to... I moved a little. I was six inches away. But I did a reverse order. But first, I'm going to again fire the 50 cal at the strong point. Oh, so, so close. We got so close that time, guys. You almost hit the bush. <laughs> and then we're going to do our reverse move of four inches. I can't see you. We're still out of sight. Uh, next up is the Hetzer. Who is still over here. Um, and that's his command. Hey, hey surprise look there. at He's that. Forward. Okay. So I didn't get up against it. So I can't see you. Problem is you're just going to outmaneuver me here. Maybe. You can run circles around me. That's my hope. <laughs> I think that's what it was in the war too, right? It's like you got paper thin armor, but you're fast. But I guess I can uh, go up against the hedgerow. So I do my scoot, scoot. I say, don't go through it because you clear it. <laughs> hey, Andre, cleared a piece of the terrain for me. All right, you're up against it. That's fine. <laughs> My Lankowski's Hetcher just moved up and then scooted. Now he's up against it. I guess I'm it. cheating a little bit. I should have just gone straight. He is right up against it, though. And. Okay, that's that. And then finally, it's going to be Cox's Pershing. We got an HE shell. I got a halt command. We're going to see if we can clear that uh, that building. Okay. Can you hit one? Get my camera over here. Oop, look out, friend. Okay, how the hell do I clear a building? Clear a building. Back to the rules. Fire main gun. It was up here. Aim at target. Load main gun. In order to clear an ambush terrain with an HE round, you tank must have an HE round loaded. Yeah. <laughs> you, you must be able to draw a line of sight. Your tank's targeting marker must not be on another target. However, the ambush terrain itself does not need to have a targeting marker. It must be within the front arc of the tank. Uh, okay. Perform the HE action. Roll the number of dice equal to the HE value. Uh, your tank suffers a penalty for moving and shooting. So I do have a halt command, so I get to use all my dice. So I need a five or six on one of the three dice. You have a halt command? Yep. Oh, oh, over there. Yeah, these, this, yeah, uh, okay. Pershing. So all I got to do is roll a five on three dice. The odds, what are the odds, Andre? A five <laughs> on three dice. So. A you got a 33, 66% uh, chance of failure three times. So 0. 0.66 times 0. 0.66 times 0. 0.66. 
All right. <laughs> and did you that, want me to? No. <laughs> and with that, we roll the did dice. Did you want a number? Or... <laughs> no. no. All right, Cox is going to fire. So we have a halt command. So the Pershing is HE3. So I get 3D6. If I didn't have a halt command, I would drop one, I think. Um, but I do have a halt command specifically for this. I want the best chance to blow up that building. So I know there's some Krauts hiding in there. I just got to fire a big-ass HE shell in. Boom. Oh, three. I got three fives and sixes, Andre. So I just blew that house to hell. So you had a 72% uh, chance of success. <laughs> blew that out of the water. So that ambush terrain has now been cleared. That's one point for me. Travis is winning. And I unload my HE. And he's unloaded. <laughs> and I'm unloaded. At least I'm unloaded. Uh, and that's it. So this is now going to be third phase of this turn. So let's issue our orders. What do I need to do here? I need to order. Um, what do I want to do with the Pershing? I guess I could just move, move up and rotate. Yeah, I'll just go toe to toe with your Panzer IV. I'll go uh, left turn, Clyde. <laughs> left, turn. left turn, Clyde. Oh man, my poor Greyhound over here. On the other hand, he's kind of in a bad spot. He's not really anywhere. I don't think I can really get him out. <laughs> I could drive up and turn and then try to scoot. You do have no turret on your head, sir. Yep. So if I can get out of the arc, that'll help me. Yep. Shit, I could just drive <laughs> straight forward. That'd and be ballsy. Knowing that, did I put in a 90 degree turn? Maybe. Might have. <laughs> that would be ballsy. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I'll have to find out, won't I? Yep, yep. It's a game of cat and mouse between the Hetzer and the Greyhound. I don't think I'm going to be clearing that strong point anytime soon, so I might as well just give up on it. I need to find some easier, easier prey like over there. What's the best way to get out of here? <laughs> <laughs> we got to get out of this place. I could just, yeah, I could just do a 90 here. Yeah, that's what I'm going to have to do. Uh, but, you know, I get to go first. Okay. Unless I got a card. Unless you got a card. Oh. I got some cards too, though, Andre. Don't forget that. My card's better than your <laughs> cards. Oh, what do you think, Finn? All right, I'm I'm ready, Andre. Are you ready? I got my uh, my uh, my okay. uh, well, actually, this whole video is going to be almost all overhead shot. But I guess for tank game like this, it kind of works pretty good. Oh yeah, Steven was complaining about your bald head on the what? screen. <laughs> Why are you doing overhead shots? He wants me to move the camera. <laughs> well, I was thinking about I could probably move it like up to here. That would be helpful. I'll try it next. I'll try it. <laughs> we'll see. But then I got people complaining they didn't like the straight down top view either. I don't know. It's got to be a happy Put medium. it on your side. <laughs> well, the stupid fan is in the way. It doesn't really matter what side it's on. I mean. <laughs> I uh, just need to play on the other side of the table. <laughs> no, or I can just move the camera. I don't think, I think it just, someone's standing there in general. All right, you ready? Actually, if you open up. I could stand in the closet with the <laughs> table over. That would solve it. 
is wear a hat. <laughs> wear your uh, Russian hat. Well, I need a summertime hat. It's too warm in here. This ain't Siberia anymore. Okay. Are you got your commands? Yep. Yep. Commands are issued. Okay. Starting with the Panzer IV. What? What? He's doing a halt. What does command. that mean? It means I'm just command. sitting there. Yep. Means and you're gonna sit you're right there. Targeted. Am I targeted? No, I'm spotted. You're not targeted. I'm not targeted. Okay. Uh, then I should target you, shouldn't I? You should. Okay, I target. I target you. <laughs> All right, Andre is targeted. Cox is Pershing. And if I want to fire, I'd need to have good teamwork, right? What does it say? It says teamwork. <laughs> <laughs> what does that have to do with anything? Um, those hours of extra drilling drill finally pay off. Okay. When one of your tanks performs a tactical action, which was to yep. target you. Yep. Effect, your tank may perform an extra tactical action during this action phase. All right. So all the hard work is paid off for Milholland's crew and the Panzer IV. We'll see. We'll see what happens here. He's going to take a shot at the Pershing. The first shot of the game. We're only, what, an hour and a half in? <laughs> <laughs> um, so, let's see here. I believe it's three dice. Three dice. Needing a five plus on one of them. Probably going against my front armor. Um, okay. All right, we ready? Yep. Okay, he's, he's taking a shot. He gets three dice for being a targeted shot, needing a five. I see and a five. I got a five. Okay, so he's hit. And this would be better Panzer against... Panzer IV has hit, the, uh, the, hit my tank, my person. Hold, hold! What's that do? Your gunner calmly waits for the perfect moment to take the shot. Resolve the shot against the target side arc. Okay, results. So you got to take a test. So uh, you're a two plus. Just don't roll a one. Because one is a fail and a calamity. Oh, you just but I got roll it. ones, right? <laughs> <laughs> uh, not against test, I think. <laughs> okay, not wasting any points there. So a side arc shot. So side arc. So what's your armor? Or I mean, what's your uh, your uh, seven armor pen seven at long range, which is over eighteen. So my side arc is, my side is, oh, I think we have to roll to see where you hit too, turret or hull. I got some cards though. If I lose my Pershing, I might as well call it because there's no way in hell that the uh, Greyhound is going <laughs> to take out two, two German tanks by himself. Uh, Although he's so damn fast, I might not be able to yeah, maybe if my objective was to get off the air boardage, I might be able to pull it off. <laughs> if your objective uh, was to drive around me in circles. Okay, so targeting a specific location. All right, damage the target once the hit's location has been determined. Hit location, roll a d6, consult the table. One is running gear, two to four is hole, five to six is turret. Two. You hit the hole. So the whole side side hole armor of a Pershing is nine. And you're at what, seven? Yep. Mm -hmm. What's the red numbers? That's your, if you had special ammo. Uh, I was going to say, I know I read that at some point. Okay, I'm gonna play a card. Okay. Okay, so Andre, we've rolled. So once you hit, you have to roll to see where you hit. So one is the running gear, two to four is the hole, five and six is the turret. And he did hit on the side because of that card. 
So he's hitting me with an armor of seven. Seven. My well, whole an armor, AP of seven. AP of seven. My whole side armor is nine. I'm going to stack some sandbags up against my side armor, which will give me a plus two um, to the shot. Uh, that was close. Let me guess. You got a card to de de defeat it? Reaction cancels any asset or event card. <laughs> All right. Okay, we'll go ahead then. Seven against nine. So I roll a die. Uh, you know, or let me check. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'm assuming you do. Seven against nine, uh, you win. <laughs> okay, damaging the target. All right. Uh... Okay, so. Roll a D6 and add the result to the firing gun's penetration value. And if it's uh, less than the targets, no, no, no effect. Equal the armor value, it's a damaging hit. Greater than, it's a damaging hit and penetration. So you're looking for a one here. I'm looking for a one, yeah. So he's got to add D6 to seven or whatever it is. Seven, a just a penetrating hit, hit. yeah. Penet we have penetration. Uh, okay. Now what happens? <laughs> <laughs> You've been penetrated. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like the sounds of that. Uh, okay, so it uh, so it hit the hole. Uh, damaging hit. So if the difference is four or greater, the tank is automatically destroyed. It was not. Nope. Um... Okay, so it's a greater than target, so it's a damaging hit and penetration. Um, so damaging hit depends on where the shot hits. Place either a turret, hole, or running gear damage token on the target's tank card. If the target's tank commander is currently unbuttoned, he may be forced to become buttoned on receiving a hole or turret hit. So I have to, might have to button up. Uh, penetration, compare the difference between the total penetration value and the target's armor value. If it's greater than four or greater, it's destroyed. Difference is less than four. Roll 1d6 on the tank destruction table. Ooh, you that score. sounds good. Sounds like I'm about to be destroyed the way the rolling's going tonight. <laughs> I don't know. I've just barely been skating by with most of my rolls. Yeah, but all your cards have been, like, you've canceled every single thing I've done, or you've had the right card for I've, everything. I did save a lot of good cards. Uh, hold on here. So, so I do take damage to the hole. So first I'll do some hole damage. So it's a damaging and penetrating hit. So I got hole damage. And now I roll a D6, right? Uh, let me check. I got to check one other thing real quick here, the button up thing. Page 67. I guess it doesn't matter if I get destroyed. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> he's unbuttoned now. Or he's buttoned up, guys. Well, he was buttoned. Now he's unbuttoned. 67. What? Why the hell did it say 67? There's nothing on 67. What the? Oh, 47. The... Button up the tank. Uh... The commander must butt. Um... <sighs> so it's dangerous to be unbuttoned, obviously. So I roll a D6 on the button up table. So that's first. And then you remember this, Andre. So we'll roll on all. Then you roll on the tank destruction table. Uh, how much were you over? Uh, I rolled a three, and I needed a three for a penetrating hit. So you're one over? Yep. So you, on a one, I'm destroyed. So it goes by however much you're over. So if okay. you're just one over, it's one. If you're two over, it's one or a two. If you're three over, one, two, three. And then if four over, it's destroyed. I like that. Okay. So 
I'm probably just done hull damage. Probably. Does that have any effect on your performance moving forward? Uh, I'm sure it does. Um, Tank will survive its first turret damage token or first hull damage token. However, it receives a second hull damage token or turret, it's destroyed. Okay, so running gear uh, does lose maneuverability, which should be why the when tank suffers damage to its hull or its turret is knocked out, so operational, there may be unfortunate consequences. When tank's turret or hull damage, roll a d6. The dice is three or more. Roll a second d6. <laughs> Refer to the additional. Wow, there's a lot of shit to do. When you take it, okay, this is quite the, uh, I guess maybe hits are so rare that figured it's, <laughs> it's okay to start adding all these extra rules in. All right, so the first thing I need to do, <laughs> let me roll on the, the, Check your button. the table, yeah. All right. Wow, okay. So the, <laughs> the process is quite complex. There's quite a few things we got to do here. So the first thing I do, I'm unbuttoned. So I got to roll on the... Unbutton commander table. I got a three, which means shaken. The commander must immediately button up. All right. So the whole hit made my commander button up. Okay. So the next thing we need to do, since it's a penetrating hit, is see if it's just outright destroyed. So the more you penetrate by, the easier it is. So if, you're, if your hit is four greater than the armor, it's automatically destroyed. Andre, if he rolls a one here, I'm destroyed. He's the only one over by one. <laughs> Seriously? Right. It's one of these games again. <laughs> Come well, that's on. the game over then. <laughs> I can't possibly win without it. So he's destroyed the Pershing with one shot. Wow. All right. Well, that was a fun game. <laughs> well, we, we kind of understand what we're doing. I think so. Um. Yeah, well, you can't help luck. <laughs> Andre got lucky this entire game. Um, sadly, it ended it. I mean, we could just keep going, but the Greyhound's not going to be able to punch through a Persh or a Panzer IV and a Hetzer by itself. Well, um, it could just give us some practice on maneuvering and trying to pin down a maneuverable vehicle. Mm -hmm. or, or, yeah. or we could switch sides. I could uh, take the other side of the table and we could. Uh, play it again well there's also a step though that if that if he didn't destroy me on that roll there's another chart you actually roll a dice and then you roll another dice to see if you roll on another chart <laughs> so <it's> like, <laughs> like i said it's pretty involved when you when you take a hit you you got to do a lot of stuff um at least a penetrating and, unless you just destroy them unless you just outright destroy them then yeah it doesn't matter but yeah he needed a one he he just beat my armor by one. So what was it, that card? Yeah, this card here was the one that did me in. Because that got rid of my improvised armor. Playing reaction to your opponent, playing any asset or event card. Cancels. So that's a really good one. Yeah. No, I... I thought I, this one was pretty good too, but yeah. Well... If you can cancel anything, yeah, that's really good. Honestly, I was thinking about holding that for... I was like, ooh, do I really want to cancel your plus two? But, uh, you know, it paid off. Um, well, there's another one that I had. If I ever, well, you know, we'll come back and wrap it up. What time is it? Uh, what time to wrap it up? 7.10. 7.10. <laughs> Let me see how long the video is. I mean, we could just pretend like it didn't get destroyed and continue on. Or we can just see if you can take out my Greyhound. Well, yeah, your call. I'm, I'm, I'm good. Let me see how, uh, how long is this video here? 47 minutes already. Damn. Wow. Yeah. Well, there's been a lot of explanation, too, going on. Yeah. That's part of it. Let's take a quick break. Yeah, that was unfortunate to lose the uh, Pershing so fast. I, yeah, I was... I'm like, I've been so damn lucky already this game. It's like, I'm never going to roll a one on this. <laughs> <laughs> I knew you were. Uh, I just could tell by the, the, the feel of the game. Uh, that feel of Andre's is going to roll whatever he needs the whole game. Uh, I did clear one piece of ambush terrain. Technically, I could still win. If I could avoid you and clear uh, two more pieces of ambush terrain and survive, really, when time runs out, I could still win. That's <laughs> not. That's not impossible. No, that's not. Um, yeah, we'll that's keep, not undoable. We'll keep going. We'll keep going. 
We'll see if I can do it. All right. Uh, let me just. All right. We're not pulling back. Um, it's not impossible for me. It's going to be difficult, but I'm technically, I could still win this. I have one point for one piece of ambush terrain. All I need is for Fred Stevens to clear two more pieces of ambush terrain in the time run out. Hey, <laughs> it happens I win. to be tank number two's turn. <laughs> and then I win. So Fred Stevens, it's all on you. Sadly, Andrew Cox, uh, we lost a great uh, American today. He died in his perching here in the streets of non uh, nondescript German village, <laughs> like so many other fine young men. <laughs> uh, so anyway, we'll keep going. So Cox is out of the game, but Stevens will press on, and he had a left turn dialed up. <laughs> he is left turn clad. <laughs> um, let's see here. But he asked, do you think playing with two models of person bogs down the game? No, we're playing with two models of person right now. Yeah, he's asking if that bogs the game down. No, no. I think it's honestly I it think goes it's pretty just, fast. It's probably designed for yeah, three or four would not be a it's uh it's actually flows pretty smooth. I think we've got it down. I mean, do you have enough marker for for yeah, there's a whole bunch. You can have okay. up to like I think I got six of them. Yeah. Enough for six. No, I, I could definitely see this with more. I think it just bogs down because um, yeah. I wasn't able to read through the rules yeah. as thoroughly as I usually do. Yeah, we don't know the rules that well. So, <laughs> But even then, it's still... Usually, I can fill in some of the blanks where Travis yeah. isn't sure of things. And on, I just did a brief skim and then got way too busy. All right. Well, we're going to... Uh, so I got a left turn dialed up for Stevens. So he's just going to do a 90 and then a forward four. And then we're going to uh, scoot out. I can barely see you. Scoot. Scooting, scooting. But, but now I can't see you at all. Well, at least I'm in line of sight of the Panzer IV now. <laughs> at least we got that going for us. Uh, Good thing I'm loaded. <laughs> All right, so Stevens, uh, he's he's come over. He's made a left turn. That was our, our signed um, command. Move four inches, and then we scoot it up. So we're out of line of sight of the Hetzer now. We are kind of sticking out here, ready to get shot by the Panzer IV, who is unloaded now after he did in poor old Cox. Um, so it's tank four. Tank three. Tank three, I'm sorry. And that is the Hetzer, right? Yep. So what's his order, Andre? He is also doing a... He's doing a left turn? Right turn. A right turn. Ah, okay. Right turn Clyde. So we will right turn. How? So I would go four inches. Yep. So I'm going to go up to there. I should really... Because if I turn, I'm getting that extra. It's almost like if you're doing a turn, you should pivot on a central point. You do. Uh, yeah. It's only it does pivot. say that. The turn is different than a pivot. Yeah. Okay. So so I would actually wind up off the hedge yeah, doing that? I think so. Yeah. The, That's kind of unfortunate. Yeah. It's, a, it's different than the pivot. And four inches up. And... Can I do another? I can't do another actual turn maneuver, can I? No. Uh, you can do a scoot. Pretty much all you can do. I guess I'll scoot. Okay. Scooting up. Ah, good morning from Camp Humphreys, South Korea. Wow. Yeah. What the hell, man? South Korea is like tomorrow morning. <laughs> <laughs> a different day. All right, so scooting. Yep. Yeah, go ahead. Five inch scoot. 
I'm going to just have to run the gauntlet with my... This is only phase two. We got one more phase to go from this turn. Okay. Yeah, so he just moved up, scooted forward five a little bit. Five again. So he's paralleling the Greyhound. <laughs> and tank four was Cox, who's now out of action. And we move on to... Action three. Action three. And we'll assign our, our moves. What am I going to move? I guess... Flat out, boys. <laughs> <laughs> We're moving flat out. Or should I just make a left turn? Right turn and just... Yeah. Coming around this way, I just take too damn long. I'll take my chances moving straight out. Ready? Uh... Now I'm going to take a quick break. Okay. Five minute break. Does it include a glass of water? It can. Sweet. That's why we got to get you some sodas over here. Yeah. Actually, that out. well, now that we're doing it, uh, well, I guess we were doing it late before, but. Oh, well, we used to start our live streams at like 11, right? I'd like to get back to that once I get back to normal. Well, yeah. Um, yeah, so those are a little uh, problematic this late at night. It's never stopped you before. Well, I haven't been working seven days a week for uh, a month and a half uh, either. Really sad about the Pershing, but whatever. Such uh, a horror. I think there was, yeah, one shot kills are not common in this game, just from all the steps you got to go. I <laughs> can believe that. Well, I mean, just lining up a shot isn't easy which I wouldn't have been able to do without that teamwork card either. Right. And the penciling the side armor. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. So, I mean, that taking that shot took me, what, three cards? Yeah, you killed a heavy tank at long range with one shot. <laughs> and three cards. <laughs> and three cards. Which means that you might be able to draw a reinforcement card when you reload. Yep. No, I, I can see where cards are super important in this. Uh... Yeah. Cool. So, we're starting the third phase? Yeah. Phase three. And I need to decide what I'm going to do. Put one of these on here. Your yeah. turn should take half as long, right? <laughs> yeah. points okay um it's time to, here we go you ready yep all right phase three and turn tank one is again the hero hey the look German. at that it's a halt command so uh gonna try and throw an ap shell all the way into the breach yep, just need a two Oh, no, it's a one. <laughs> a failure and a calamity. But, oh, no. What, do you got a card? No. What? I get to reroll ones. Is it for loading, or is that just shooting? Oh, that's just shooting? I don't know. Let me check. I think it might just be for shooting. It might. I think you're right. Yeah, I don't think it's for loading, too. That'd be way too good. Yeah. Uh, what the hell was that? 
Where's the calamity? So is it a failure or a calamity? I think it's both. <laughs> um, a one on a, is a calamity if you roll well, one on your test. Hmm. I mean, do do veterans have calamities? They do. Only aces don't. Oh. An ace commander never suffers a calamity. How do you become an ace? I think it's in campaigns. Uh, uh, if you roll less than the required, the crew member has failed the test, roll another D6. Oh, another one. So you have to roll another one. Okay, so, so yeah, okay. So he has to roll again. If he rolls a one on this one, it's a calamity. Otherwise, it's just a failure. No, so it's just a fail. I was going to say that's pretty hard. Well, so I couldn't just, fail. I either succeed or I calamity the way we yeah. were looking at it. It's like, yeah. damn. But no, you roll another one. So he just doesn't work. Well, that sucks. Well, okay. You have to fail at something at some point. Maybe. No, I don't. <laughs> uh, tank two then? Gear up. All right. You didn't get uh, a snapshot on you. <laughs> Actually, I couldn't do a snap. You only get one action per. Yeah. Yeah, you could do it. Um, so... so, yeah, taking shots in this game does it seems like it's not easy. Where's my button? Oh, it's over there. It's not <laughs> I got to do a lot of stuff to get it set up all right well, i'm making a left right turn i'm over here so i'm making a right turn i'm just going to go straight for it shit here he comes i could have gone all the way around but man that would take all night so we're going to make a right turn move up four and then we're going to scoot six more nice so that's going to be just past the building here. There we go. All right. We're going to shoot the gap. <laughs> and then next up is going to be the uh, Hetzer. So what's his order? Um, it's not move forward and pivot and shoot, unfortunately. <laughs> what was it? I didn't see you uh, charging me. He's doing a left turn. Oh, interesting. So I judged right. So he's going to now turn left and go forward four inches. Whoops. <laughs> and uh, I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, you can scoot backwards, too. You can. You take the lowest of the two, yeah. Yeah, you can scoot backwards. So you oh. might be better off scooting backwards. And... Yeah, no, I'll scoot back. Yeah. So scoot normally, back. it's yeah, you roll for scoot. It's if you're moving forward, you use 2d6 highest, highest reverses 2d6 pick the lowest. Okay, so that's not a bad move. Cool, we'll so scoot backwards. All right, and that's it for turn for that turn. So, Andre, you get to decide now do you want to roll one or two dice to advance time? Uh, we want this thing to end. <laughs> Wow. Okay, so we go up 11 minutes. So 7 plus 11, that's 18. So we can just put it at 8 and 10. And then we'll reset that. And then we will get new event cards. And new and we'll one, two, threes. Yeah. So I've I use one card. Yep. All right, so I only get to draw. No, I can draw up to three because you can get up to you can go back up to your full hand. So I, I'm at three cards. So I, I had started with five, so I can draw two cards. How many cards you got left? I got two. So you can draw three cards. Uh. Well, well, well. What do you know? Um, okay. <laughs> we'll, um, all right. We'll look at our cards. Shit. 
Maybe I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> okay. All right. So I will shuffle the. I will shuffle one this time, Andre, and then you pick. Uh, so you shuffle them? Yep, you pick two, and I'll, I'll get the last one. Okay. <laughs> one and two. Of course. <laughs> uh, All right, so Andre, <laughs> he's drawn one and two, of course, and I got three. Um, but I did get a reinforcement card, Andre. Yeah. And it's an extra reinforcements card when drawn. Discard this card and activate two asset cards chosen from those you purchased before the start of the game. Wow. So I can now clear two ambush points. So I have infantry. GIs lay down a withering curtain of fire as they advance. Uh, choose one piece, choose a piece of ambush train. The train can now counts as cleared or choose a strong point and roll two dice. The strong point is cleared on a roll of six. Um, I will just choose a regular piece of it. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll discard that. I'll nice. I'll this uh, hedge here. Okay. Okay, so oh, that's clear. Because there's a chance you can reoccupy those. Hmm. If you get the right card, you can bring more dudes up. I'm guessing you have that card. Just, <laughs> I'm assuming Andre has the, all the cards. What? Every uh, it's all about the cards. It is all about the cards. I'm also going to play Combat Engineers. U.S. Combat Engineers clear the battlefield of obstacles as the armor advances. Effects clear a piece of ambush terrain or a strong point. Or remove a wreck from the table or remove a section of paint traps. So I'm going to clear an ambush, a strong point. Um, Damn. Where are your strong points? Oh, they're all over the place. One there. I might as well clear this strong point. You didn't. What about this one? <laughs> yeah, you can keep that. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to clear. So I had my engineers, my infantry appeared magically and cleared all this. Hey, look at that. You're winning the game. And I'm winning the game by one point. And all I got to do is survive until the end. <laughs> the time runs out. Uh, so I was, yeah, that's going to be rough. So anyway, do you have anything you're going to do with the card you just pulled? No. Okay. So we'll go on to uh, the next turn, action one. And again, the Panzer IV will go first. Pretty incredible how the Panzer IV goes first every single time. Isn't that how it's supposed to be? No. Oh. <laughs> That's why they call it a Panzer IV. Yeah. Reverse. Beep, beep, beep. <laughs> <laughs> We're going back. Do you get cover from the fountain? <laughs> <laughs> Can you shoot through water? Okay. Um, Failing that load order really jacked me up. Yeah, yeah. Okay, what do you got? Uh, what do you got there, Mel Holland? Sign, sign, move. It hey, look. The halt. Okay. They're gonna try to load again, straight to the, straight to the breach. How hard could it be? Yeah, no problem. Throw it in. You got it. It's All loaded right. up. All right. So he's loaded. And that's the tank two is gonna be Lankowski's Hetzer, which is. So you don't get an extra action when you're halted. Hmm, bummer. Nope, you just get the one action. Unless you got a card or something. No, nah, no. Nah. Nope, he, he's a... Uh, okay. So... Around button, right? Oh, yeah. So can't you try to do a free spot action? I suppose. Yeah. Might as well try to spot. And you have a veteran commander. So he's spot. So he's spotted Stevens in the Greyhound, and he's loaded. All right. And next up is going to be Lankowski. So I could do a snapshot, but yeah, it's, it'd be like one dice. You need like two dice and even 
both of these fives on five on 2d6 because a snapshot is you roll oh. two dice and you need both of them to get the hit score oh like five plus it okay um i didn't realize it was that hard yeah okay um all right so next command is sure. making a left turn right turn right turn so i can come forward for and then turn or yeah. Yeah. actually you, gotta, you can do it either way so i've got to do the full turn right yep. i can't just do a partial turn i think you can uh let me check otherwise it would just be a pivot but... uh well oh i forgot my mic yeah sorry <laughs> mic'd up now uh Turning. Let me check the turn thing here. Turn, turn. Turn. Take around. me, move me, move and turn left. Uh, movement. So left turn the tank, move the tank up to four inches forward and rotate it up to 90 degrees. Up to. Okay. But then you can only go four inches. So that's the difference between that and a, and a pivot. Pivot. So I guess the question is, you're probably not going to stay there, though, is the thing. Hell no. <laughs> so I might as well. Stevens is a veteran commander. He is. I'll do the full turn and... We'll go ahead and move up four inches, bump up a little bit, scooting, and we get a free spot. Yeah. Spot. You are spotted. Okay. Pretty sure it's a free spot, yeah. Okay. Or is it worded that if you give the action spot and then it might be that. Like you have to give the spot command and if you pass it, then it's free and then you can do something else. I don't think it's, you just automatically get to do a free spot. Well, then there is no. No, there is. You give the spot action and if you pass the test, you can do something else. You don't get to do something else and then try to do a free spot every time. Does that make sense? No, <laughs> it doesn't. Um, so, okay, so I had to try and spot you first. Yes. So, let me so I spotted you, me. then I did my... Well, okay, yeah. so now I can do another action, right? Yeah, so you would have to, yeah. Yes. So you have to say you're spotting. You don't get to like, I'm going to load and then I'm going to get my free spot. I'm going to, okay. you got to. Okay. So I have, I'm spotting and now I'm targeting. Okay. Since I, my spot was for free, right? Yep. So the Hetzer made a right turn, moved up four. He went to spot. He's unbuttoned. So he passed the test, which was a free spot. And then he went to target. What are you rolling for? Targeting. I think that's you would just automatically do that. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I so think. you're targeted now. I'm targeted and spotted. Yeah. Is there a reason you weren't targeted and spotted from the Panzer Four? Yeah. Because uh, you... well, you loaded. You didn't. Oh, okay. I loaded yeah. and. Spotted. I think that you couldn't do the spot though. I think you have to issue like you have to say my okay. action is spotted. so I would have spotted and then you would have to loaded, do that first. Yes. Which I would have done it in that order because yeah. yeah, I don't think you can't just say I'm gonna load and then oh by the way, I'm gonna try to spot you for free. You have to declare okay. I'm spotting. So but anyway, we now that we know that it's fine. So now it is the uh the Greyhound's turn. <laughs> And our Greyhound has a left turn Clyde order. And we're going to try to 
not get shot. <laughs> so we're going to go there and four inches up. And then we're going to have a hell of a, we need a hell of a scoot here, boys. A four inch scoot. That will get you most of the, oh, that's a four inch scoot? Yeah. <laughs> nice. <laughs> yeah. We'll check it. <laughs> I don't know. I was just, that was, I moved that far before. So four inches back, four inches back. That's right where I was, right? Uh, actually, you were, yeah, inside the markers. There's okay. A, right where I was. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So I lose the uh, spot on only in the guys that can't on this guy. Yeah, I think the other guy can still see me, right? So yeah, okay. he's uh, so the Panzer IV has lost line of sight to the Greyhound, but the Hetzer can still see it. Um, now we move on to phase two, and we'll issue orders. Pull ahead. <laughs> Pull ahead, boys. Yeah, because if I can just... All I got to do is move up. Yeah, if I can move eight. Shit, I might have to try to do the free pivot. I'm like, what are you trying to get in a line on the church? I'm just trying to get out of line of sight of all the tanks. <laughs> oh, okay. well... Hmm. So you're just running for your life at this point, which yeah, yep. I'm just running, trying to run, run out the clock. That's all I can do. Which the chance of me being a, so now I'm loaded at least, but being able to get an actual line of sight on you is uh, it's going to be a lot of run. You're only you have to hope this guy can get me in the back because you go before me, right? Yeah, and you're loaded. Yep. So that's your one. You got one chance because if not, I'm going to squeak around that uh, garage and you'll never get to me. Or if you, you could, it'll take 45 minutes. Or I think time would run out before you got to me. Well, it, we move three turns well, you every. Could, you could box me in. 10 minutes. Yeah, you could just drive up here and then just. I would be, you would eventually corner me. Well, I'd flush you out of there. Yeah. You'd just, but then you just scoot out in the back. Yeah. I could go. I mean, you're going to, I could just go back there's, around. This there's way. too many. Uh, yeah. I don't, yeah. I think this is really it. I don't think there's anything else I can. Uh... All right. So we're issuing orders. Not having any, not being able to ambush. I mean, because if I could just lay down an ambush here. Yeah. But an ambush would be nice. Not being able to ambush really limits the game. All right. So do we, you got your issues, orders? Yep. All right. Orders are issued. Let's start uh, with the Panzer IV. What's it going to do? Pull ahead. But. Hmm. Yeah, and making having the things pre-planned like that because we're just talking this like if I can his main his best chance right now is if he can get a shot off with the Hetzer on me, which he he should be able to because he's targeted he's got me targeted. I guess the only question is hey I can can his I can see tank, you again can his turret I can tank target you. <laughs> okay, but well, I'm gonna move. Assuming I survived the Hetzer rear shot. Um, so, so I moved. moved okay, he moved up. So there's no way I can uh, spot target and have the snap fire. fire. I think that's all I've got. I mean, you can't see me. How the hell is you seeing my greyhound from there? Uh, <laughs> grab, <laughs> grab, grab, grab an edge. Yeah, no way. I can, what do you mean? No way. 
<laughs> I don't see what you're seeing. Okay, maybe you can see the red tail light there. I I was catching that whole back <laughs> corner. <laughs> well, you can scoot. So we can't even snap fire. Um, he is loaded. Yeah, there's okay. why bother. <laughs> All right, the Hetzer then. So the Hetzer's loaded, and he's aimed, right? I right? guess I can turn, turn my turret. turret. So the Hetzer is aimed and loaded. He is turretless. I'll have to check the rules for that, but I think you should be able to get um, a shot from the arc. Uh, Let me see what the turretless uh, tank If it's is. got a 90 degree, 90. I'm good. If it's less than that, it could be problematic. I think you're within that, though. I, I think uh, I'm within the 90. But 56. if it's got a narrower cone than 90 degrees, then uh, probably not. Tank with a turretless trait may only fire its main gun in a single arc. This is usually the front arc. Uh, so, yeah, I think so. An arc, arc is, would be 90 degrees. Yeah, usually. Um, Yeah, I mean, we know it is. Yeah, it's typical. It's just standard. And you should be in the arc. Okay. And okay. we are measuring 18 inches. Within 18. Measured from the breech or yeah. the front of the tank, hull to hull, tip of the gun. I think it's the breech. Okay. And you're within 18. Where's the breach on this guy? Back here? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Right there, yeah. Um, maybe not. I mean, it uh, it was 18 to right there. <laughs> okay, so you got it? I I don't know where you're calling the breach. We'll just, that's fine. You can say it's, it's close enough. That's close enough. You're within okay. 18. All righty. Okay. Uh, let me see if maybe we can get a good, some other camera angle besides overhead for once here. What would be a good spot? Is there a good spot? I'm kind of thinking there might not be, but... I got a couple cards. Oh, we should be playing a bunch of cards, huh? <laughs> Probably. I'm going to try to play a, a few cards. All right. Oh, that's not bad. I'll let you look at your cards for a second. Um, oh, we ran over this gas pump. Okay. <laughs> so there's gas spewing out. So if you hit on a three plus, you ignite the gas. Sweet. Okay. So what are we doing? I guess you're ready to fire. You're aimed. Um, you got a shell loaded. Yep. You're rolling uh, three dice with an aim shot. Four. Yep. Yeah, three shot. Three dice with an aim shot. Needing uh, fives. Okay. Here we go. Okay, so this could be for the game. Lankowski, he's already aimed and spotted at uh, the Hetzer. I mean the Greyhound. And hold on, free roll. I got some cards here. Ah. No cards. So first thing I want to do is this quick reaction. So your commander reacts to the enemy by firing oh, firing first. Hold on here. Maybe I can't even do that. No, you can sh look. You hit that building <laughs> right there. I can see the brick where the mortar got plastered out. That's too bad that wasn't a re an ambush point. <laughs> uh, when the enemy is about to fire the main gun, uh, the commander of the target tank must make a crew test. The test is passed. The target may perform an immediate fire main gun action. Okay, well, I, my, gun, my main gun's pointing the wrong way, so forget that one. But I will do fog of war. 
Gun smoke and dust throw up by tank tracks obscure the view. Play any time. Effects place a smoke marker on any friendly or enemy tank. Um, I guess I'll put it on yours because I'm about to move anyway, which I think loses smoke. Okay. So we'll see what that does. <laughs> what does the smoke marker do? And where is the smoke? It's in the garage somewhere. Okay. <laughs> Your uh, mic came off. I was looking for the rules for smoke, right? Yeah. Uh, smoke. 29. Page 29. All right, effects of smoke. Any attack made against a tank with a smoke marker or on it reduces the number of dice by one. If a tank with a smoke marker on it shoots, it reduces the number of dice by one. Any tanks reduced to zero or a snap fire. So it just reduces your... your and down the die. Yeah. Okay. So sadly, we don't have the smoke markers handy to put smoke on it, but the Hetzer has smoke on it, or the dust from the tires of the Greyhound, which means he reduces his dice by one. So he needs uh, five on 2d6 now. One five. On a, a five, yep. A five. Oh, he missed. That's a three. <laughs> Mankowski misses the shot. Uh, at least I'm unloaded. At least he's unloaded, which means that... Stevens is probably going to survive for a while at least. Um, so it is Stevens and the Greyhound's turn. And Stevens and the Greyhound had a, I believe, a straightforward order. So, yeah. So I'll keep this. And, yeah. So, yeah, Stevens has a straight ahead order okay uh well hang on but um oh, you, I was, have, you got a card i was gonna uh play a card okay what card are you playing bad timing oh boy that doesn't sound good <laughs> <laughs> hold on i'll let you read it here all right before he moves andre decided he's got a card he wants to play bad timing Tank stalls at a critical moment. I think this qualifies. This is critical. Yeah. The that is... tank may not move during its movement action this phase and may only make a pivot maneuver by using a tactical action. It can be performed hmm. a scoot action as normal. Okay. Well, I will do a scoot action then and a pivot or one or the other. We'll scoot. <laughs> We're scooting up. Yeah. Snake eyes. <laughs> really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah what? It's like, Rolling <laughs> like Andre. Hell yeah. It really was bad timing. <laughs> the engine stalled. They just kind of lurched forward. <laughs> 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 All right, so that's phase two. Now we move on to the last phase of this turn. Yeah, I had no way to cancel that. I have one to cancel bad day. It wasn't called bad day, was it? Uh, bad timing. Bad timing, yeah. Okay, you ready? Yep. All right. Okay, uh, last of the phases for this turn. So we'll see Panzer IV is going to do a right turn. So we'll come forward four. Right turn, Clyde. Okay. And he's already loaded. We could sh throw a smoke grenade. You <laughs> could uh, scoot. Okay, scoot. Uh, Scoot's always a nice choice. Gives you an extra move. Scoot's uh, usually about all there is. Yeah, so I think what on he's gonna have to try to box me in. So if he can get up to 
I can't right. box you in your well. You could I say that. You can cut me off from going this way. I need more bad timing. <laughs> yeah, you need that. That's a handy one to have. Yeah. All right. So next is the Hetzer. Okay. What's his command? Hey, he's halted. Okay. Imagine that. He's halting. Um, so he will try and throw a uh, shell in. Okay. He's got a hell. Oh, he does. Yep. Yeah. Three plus for his gunner. And that's all I can do, right? Yep. Yeah, that's your action. So it's on to the Greyhound. Are you still spotted, though? Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, everything's still the same. I think so I can crank one off. Uh, well, I'm going to get the hell out of there, unless you got another bad timing. Um. Yeah, do you have bad timing? <laughs> you have another one. You're the one that had bad timing, Travis. <laughs> I hope you don't have another one of those. Okay, I was gonna go straight ahead. Okay. So we'll just uh, hold on, hold on. Oh no. <laughs> okay. Um, another card. Oh, I got a couple cards. Oh God. <laughs> All right, so I was about to drive ahead forward is my order, but more cards. Are coming. Well, did you see the minefield? Oh, no, I did not see the minefield. Well, when that's enemy tank executes a movement action using any command other than halt, the tank driver must make a crew test. The tank avoids the mines, fail, the tank receives tire damage. Calamity, the tank receives two dire tire damage. And you're destroyed on two dire damage, right? So I need to pass a truth. Luckily, my crew is. Uh, no, my driver. Uh, three plus. Come on, boys. Oh, oh, no, he failed. Hold on. My driver has a charmed life. <laughs> when you fail a crew test, you may reroll the crew test. Don't even start going looking at your cards. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to try to pass it again. Yeah, we passed. All right. Okay. He's charmed. Right, hang on. Okay. <laughs> He's got more cards. Okay. Uh, but that <laughs> dude was having a bad day. No, he wasn't. Yes, he was. Oh, <laughs> uh, man. I just used the one that was charm life. That's the one that I just used to pass it was the one that could have canceled that. So I need two of those. He needs a doubly charm life. So I need to do it again. No problem. Oh, yeah. A five. Uh, All right. So we got a stack of. Okay. Okay. What's next? An unseen obstacle. When the enemy tank executes a movement using any command other than halt, the tank driver must make a crew test as though they're in the area of ambush terrain. All right. <laughs> Can I pass another crew test? Yes. Uh, yeah. So I was really thought I was going to be using all these on your crap driver <laughs> over here. but uh, Hell yeah, man. My uh, Greyhound. Yes. He, made it, he made it through the minefield. Uh, he made it through the unseen obstacle. Yeah. Yeah, he's awesome. And now we will execute our move. <laughs> uh, so an eight, eight inch move forward. Damn it. I'm still, am I still in line of sight though? Oh no, I'm out of line of sight now. Okay. Um, yeah, that's that. So I just move forward eight inches. I guess I have an action. Maybe I should turn my turret around. So I, nah. What action? Oh, scoot. We're going to scoot. Four inches. So we'll just move up to there. Well, that gets you out of line of sight. Oh, my other oh damn. I didn't even see that. <laughs> <laughs> like I perfectly stopped. <laughs> oh, my God. Holy cow. That would have been bad. It's like, all right, we're, we're in the clear, boys. So like, okay, boom. <laughs> we got out of line of sight. Parker right here. Yeah, come on. Let's, let's see if we if those mines did any damage. Okay. Yeah, thank God we uh we got out of there. Okay, so we move on. This is actually the next turn we're moving on. Yep. To. All right. Let's uh put these cards away. Discards. Go back to the overhead. And so I'll roll, uh, see how much time is. I'm using both. <laughs> <laughs> Woohoo! Yeah. Time flies. Uh, so we're, we're at up 20 minutes. 20 minutes. Wow. 
That one's really bad. <laughs> uh, yeah. We get to re re. We're, uh, we're pushing halfway through the game. <laughs> we get to restock our. Uh, I'm gonna discard one. I'm pulling three cards. I'm pulling five. Uh, okay. You can only pull three. You can only pull as many as your highest commander. You can't pull five at once. Really? Yeah. That sucks. Okay. Yep. Okay. Uh, we'll see what we got. Uh, let's, see, hold on, let's see what we got over here. We won't tell Andre what we got here. Uh, oh, we for, you've been forgetting to do radio checks. Oh, no, we only do them at the beginning of the turn. That's right. So you do need to do one now, Andre. Oh, huh. that's not horrible. All right. So we got to get our tokens. Okay. I got uh, reinforcement. Yeah. But I don't think there's any ambush terrain around me that you can Doesn't launch matter. an attack from. Doesn't matter. You got an airstrike. <laughs> I, it means I can play these, right? Yeah. Yeah. It was, it'll say on there. When drawn, discard this card and activate one asset card chosen from the ones. Yeah. Okay. So I will. All right. So Andre's drawing a reinforcement card. And what are you going to play? I guess I'll play my uh, sniper. Sniper. So he's going to try to snipe Stevens, who's still unbuttoned, by the way. Well, that is. Choose an unbuttoned enemy commander. Choose. He must either button up immediately for the rest of the game or roll these. I'll just button up. <laughs> <laughs> We'll just uh, get inside where it's safe. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah. And then we got our three things here, so I will mix these up. Andre, you pick two. Uh, oh, cool. What? Don't tell me. The enemy's radios are playing up. <laughs> Good thing I only have one tank. You might as well discard that one. But I can reallocate your number to yeah, pick two, uh, pick two your other these. tank. So pick these two, whichever two you want, because you got these two right here for me to yeah, pick. Go ahead. <laughs> oh my God. Again. All right. So again, Audrey's got one and two. Somehow, it's uncanny. He's not Somehow. watching. <laughs> He's not watching. He's just pulling the two. <laughs> uh, okay, and it's the same order. To, or no, we got to do a radio check. Let's oh, see. that's what we forgot to do last turn. Oh, he failed the radio. Wow. Check. So technically, you're supposed to put those here. I'll randomize them again, and then you will put them on. You put them on. So you want this one here? Yep. So you wanted this to be number one and this to be number <laughs> yeah. two? It was meant to be. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we'll issue our orders. Pens or four can only go first. <laughs> only go for That's what it says. You got the card for that. Uh, major G repair. Wait. Is this mine? Yeah. Roger that. When you pass it, when you fail radio check, the radio check is passed. Doesn't do me any good. Woohoo. Okay. Um, are we? Oh, we're issuing, we're issuing orders, right? Yeah. So it's what the hell? I gotta try to stay away from you. Yeah. I guess I know what I'll do. I'll make a. I'm not gonna tell you, but. Uh, okay. And you ready? Yeah. Okay. What's uh, number one here? Moving Straight on. Straight ahead. So the Panzer IV will just move six. And then he will scoop. He's loaded too. Hey, Ooh, bullseye. Another <laughs> one. Look at him go. What do you call that again? Forgot. Snake eyes. Snake eyes. <laughs> <laughs> bullseyes. <laughs> bullseyes. <laughs> Uh, so tank two is going to be the Hetzer who's over there. Look at those bullseyes! <laughs> could be, man. It's a good, 
Uh, if you needed ones, it'd be bullseyes. Okay. It's making a left turn. That's interesting. So it's a cat and mouse game here. We're four inches and a turn, right? He's trying to box me in, which it's since gonna... I'm a wheel vehicle, I can't. If I go in here, um, I can't get out. Oh, yeah, because it's I can't go through this terrain as a wheel vehicle. Oh, nice. So I'm like trapped. If I go in here, it's I'm a, in a trap. Okay, so I actually do kind of have a shot at. Yeah, uh, I think you can get me. The trick is I don't want to drive through any hedgerows. Yeah, make a hole for me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> make a hole. Okay, so what was your action going to be for the hedgerow? Um, he's going to go ahead and scoot him. Six inch scoot. Yeah, I'm... it's going to be tough for the wheel vehicle. Yeah, if All I had right. a tank, I could just drive through. Yeah. First, if I had a tank, I might turn around and start shooting. <laughs> <laughs> I think my armor is one at well, long range or something. You're up. All right. Damn, and I did a left turn, I think. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, right turn was I did a right box turn. you in. Yeah, I did a right turn, damn it. Oh, wow. Yeah. Uh, so I'll move up. Yeah, there's no way out. I'm trapped. <laughs> I'm trapped in here. Sir, are you sure <laughs> you said right turn? And I'm trying to pass time rolling two ones ain't going to do it. <laughs> uh I guess I load my main gun. And with a light gun like this, you can just go straight in. You don't have to screw it. I might have to get a side shot on you. So that's it for phase one. How many cards do you have, Andre? One. You only have one card? Is it any good? Yeah. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> you shouldn't have told me that. Why? Because I have a reconnaissance card. Ah. Your opponent, uh, I'll wait. Okay. Wait. wait till you have more cards in your hand so I can pick one. Uh, so issue orders. I guess I'll figure out what the hell I'm going to do. Trap back here. Um, what am I going to do? Gun is loaded. I guess really coming around this way was my, I should, I don't know why. I didn't realize that I was trapped in there until I mentioned it to you. <laughs> if I would have known that earlier, I would have not made a right turn. <laughs> More than likely. How do you do a 180? <laughs> uh, How the hell do you do it? Take two turns? <laughs> turn all the way. You have to take two turns to turn all the way around. It's got to be a way to just 180, right? All right, you ready? I am. And I'm loaded, so be, be careful. I got an AP2 gun. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what's up? Here we go. Mel Holland's Panzer What am four. I doing? We got straight ahead. What? Oh, straight ahead. Uh, six inches. He's coming up, boys. Six inches. Not good. And your action? Um, no, scoot. Scoot. I think you might be able to squeeze through there. Well, or just get right up to it. <laughs> That's, yeah, you're going to have to, you might, to get through there, you might. You might. have to pivot. Yeah. All right, so the that Hetzer could be a problem. <laughs> What's the Hetzer's order? Do I get to pivot on a pivot? Would be the finger thing, right? So yeah, can I do that after a move? Or... Yeah, I think you can do it any time you want. Yeah, okay, In, before so I can after. Pivot right now, if that's your action, yeah. Um, well, my action was to scoot. Oh, then I don't think so. You can the pivot do it. is a full action. Well, it's I think it's part of your regular move. I don't think you can so pivot have to on do a scoot. It. Okay. You got to go straight. Yeah. Um, well, hello. <laughs> uh, yeah. So on to the Hetzer then. Okay. And hey. Straight ahead. Yeah, I'm going to get cut off. I made a mistake making that right turn. Big time. And it's not looking good. 
Um, I would pivot now. Uh, yeah, now now you can do a pivot. That's your action, right? Uh, that'll be my action. You could try to do a free pivot. There is a free pivot you can do if you pass a, but you have a one star driver. So you can get four plus, and then you'd be able to do another action. What happens if I don't do a free pivot? Like you fail? No, I mean, what's the difference between doing a free pivot action and a well, pivot free pivot action? would mean you can do another action after because you still it's free, so you'd be able to pivot and move or do something else. Um, I think, but there's nothing else I could. Well, then just yeah. Well, just do... I guess I could scoot. Well, if you I mean it's also if you just do the pivot action, you guarantee it's going to happen. You know, oh, that's... so the so I don't have to test for the pivot action. No. Okay. No, the pivot as an action always happens. Okay. It's only a test if you try to do the free one. All right. I'll uh, go ahead and pivot. Okay. So Andre just pivoted. Um, and I might as well pick up my sighted. Uh, he marker. decided to do just the pivot action just so it was guaranteed to happen. All right, so it's on to uh, Stevens and the Greyhound. Let's see what he's doing. Wait. Right turn, Clyde. Here he <laughs> comes. Damn. Having this uh, rule book open on the computer is really. This is not going to be a very good video for like B roll footage. Yeah, I don't know what else to do. Just sit here and stand my ground, man. Come on in, boys. <laughs> the last stand. Yeah. And is there anything I can do like action wise to do anything? I don't think so. You could scoot. <laughs> I could scoot. Okay, well, yeah, I don't. <laughs> That's it. Okay. Steven's just turned into the enemy. All righty. Yeah. All right. So, phase two. I guess I'll just stay here and stand my ground and wait for the inevitable. Charge. If I get too close to you, you can't fire, right? <laughs> if I'm under your gun, <laughs> you can't shoot at me. Oh, man. <laughs> I hate that. Mm. I'll just halt. I'm just waiting. Come and get me. Maneuvering this tank through this hole is going to kind of... <laughs> Yeah, it's, I don't even know if you're going to fit through there. I don't think you're going to fit. You're going to have to take out the hedge and just come around the backside. Just do a pivot and just drive uh, right I through got, here. I got three inches. Can you make it? How wide is the tank? Less than three. Okay. Two and a three quarters. So should I just move this back here? Yeah, you don't through. even need to do that. Actually, I wouldn't do that. No. No, move the keep the hedge where it is because what that's going to do. It's I'm going to it. I've got a pivot, come forward and then pivot again. No. Um, it's going to take a while. So yeah, by uh, <laughs> why don't you just no. by having it that tight. I was going to say, you could just turn and just drive up here. I could. And then cut me off completely over here. But then you just come out this hole. And you just turn. And <laughs> uh, well, I need to keep you back boxed. I need you boxed in yeah. there. I guess for sure, if you know I can't go this way, then going that way is a safe bet. Yeah. And if you try and scoot out the back right now, I could potentially get a shot on you. Okay. All right, so what are you going to do? Um, so, oh, we got to put down orders, right? Yeah. Um, 
Okay. Uh, how long is this video? I think it'll be pretty easy to edit because there's not <laughs> there's not a lot of B roll footage. It's mostly all overhead. Okay. Yeah, we're at an hour and sixteen already. Yeah, I probably should wrap it up here soon. I'm trying. <laughs> Maybe I'll just surrender. Yeah. I'll well, just surrender. When? Right now. <laughs> really? Yeah, I mean okay. I can't. I'm gonna die. It's just a matter of time at this point. All you got to do is stop me from going this way. I can't go that way. If I had a tank, yeah, it'd be different. So let me. Oh, uh, definitely. All right, I'm gonna. I'm just gonna surrender. We're gonna bail out and run. We're gonna go back to the HQ, back to the CP, get a new Greyhound. Pretty much though, I can't. Being wheeled really screwed me. I made a bit, the mistake going right here was a mistake. Although going left would have maybe bought me another a little bit of time, but eventually it would have been the same outcome. Uh. I'd have had to have hit you as you were flying past. Yeah. Um, I'd, uh, you know, and then once you got back into, you know, onto, I mean, yeah. There's some, <laughs> I don't think I could have made it. Actually, you're kind of boxed here also on each. This is the only piece of terrain with three outlets and that has three outlets. Yeah. So if you could have bounced back and forth between these two, you might have been able to stall me out. But time is moving so slow. Yeah. It's only been 20 minutes of game time. Real time, it's been hours. We got another, <laughs> I mean, yeah. And you roll snake eyes on that when you're trying to make time go, that's really that bad. Really, that's a killer, yeah. <laughs> so. so yeah, I'm just going to, I mean, I can't go that way. If I had a tank, I could try to bust out through the hedges over there and do maybe even fight back. I mean, I got a AP two. My AP is two on this gun. <laughs> so I get, and the only AP, he, that has a side armor of three. So if I got to the side of the headser, I had a good chance to take it out, but well, and also though, you know, you've got uh, cards that can clear other points. So the chances of you being able to get, no, I don't have any more cards that can clear. I'm done. I got an airstrike card is my last card. Oh, oh, uh, there yeah. aren't any, those are only, okay, I was thinking that the... Uh, there was only two reinforcement cards. That the event cards could clear stuff too. No, it's only these. Okay. Yeah, I had the engineers and the infantry. Nice. And I think if there was a third one, I would have brought it. So I just brought airstrike thinking maybe I could take out one of your tanks with the airstrike. Because if that, if I would have got a reinforcement card and suddenly one of your tanks blows up from a P-47, then I would have a real chance. But, yeah. Yeah. But anyway, yeah, it's... Yeah, game so, over. So my other card um, was an eighty-eight. Oh damn! But you're back. Oh, you had to fire from your own edge. I had to yeah. fire it from my edge, and you know, I mean, I can see a lot of the board <laughs> from yeah. my edge. If I was like out here, yeah, an eighty-eight. It's funny though because I had a card reconnaissance that I could have taken one of your cards. So if I took the eighty-eight, does that mean my guys like captured your eighty-eight and started shooting it at? your own guys oh <laughs> it's like the americans sucked. on the, the americans captured the 88 and were firing it on the tanks i should have done that oh man i could have had an 88 shot on the side armor of that uh hetzer or rear armor of the no because it would have to come from my edge uh unless you captured it over here <laughs> that would be funny <laughs> american crude 88 takes out a uh, german tank that's like but, somebody said uh, a movie yeah um but the anyway, cards are pretty wild. Cards are wild. So we're doing the wrap up. We'll just do it right now. See, I like this game. As far as tank only games, which I mean, I'm not like a huge tank guy. I do like tanks, but I know some guys are like love tanks. That's their thing. And yeah. If that's your thing, this is definitely a good game. I, I had fun with it and I think it flowed very well. The cards are awesome. Uh, they're flying a lot more. I think we played a card, another game recently that had cards, didn't we? <sighs> I think we kept forgetting to use them or something. I don't remember, but we play several games with cards, but yeah. But these cards were like, they're useful. They're super useful. They're su maybe, are they too useful? <laughs> Potentially. I mean, Potentially. I, I am having trouble seeing how to, uh, I mean, it would be a totally different game without the cards. A lot of the, a lot of the cards have counters though. So you can counter 
yeah, some of them are really good, but some of them can also be countered. Yep. So that's that's good. And the reinforcement cards in this particular mission, I mean, not the reinforcement cards, the, uh, what are these, the asset cards, they come, they're really nice. Uh, you have to pay for them. But I knew I was clearing obstacle or ambush points, so I just brought the two that I could. And it actually gave me the lead in the game briefly. Yeah. Um, but I, I like the game. I like the mechanics. I like that you can move every turn. I mean, I don't want to compare it to what a tanker. This isn't a what a tanker video, but just it's in comparison because that's a similar game. It's tank only. Yeah. Um, but it's a lot different. Um, there's no cards. And it's just very random. There's random movement. It's random what you can do. It's just it's almost all randomness. This is is very much less random. Yeah. Um, but it's almost frustratingly slow too. In okay, I'm loading or I'm grabbing the yeah the round. I'm lo breaching the round. You know, loading the round. Yeah. I'm targeting. I'm pulling the trigger. Um, you know, getting a shot off is not easy. And nope. Especially when your opponent has that many opportunities to move out of line of sight, which we got a ton of line of board, sight yeah. blocking terrain on the board. Yeah, so, maybe a more open board would be a little bit easier because you could keep people in line of sight and load and just fire more often. Yeah, well, this board is hard to. Yeah, it's hard for that, but I don't know. It's still it's easier than what a tanker is still because you know the acquire like you had to so many acquires because it, you, know, you had the terrain intervening so you need like yeah. three acquires and it's like you gotta have two well i didn't get two acquired so then anyway well this isn't i'm not i, I do like what a tanker is just a lot different than this game so i don't want to bash on it but um it does have some issues but no game is perfect well you know, this game is not perfect either but it's, yeah, this I, one, uh, you know, you, we had all this hard cover and it does nothing for you. The cover thing is weird. Yeah, there's no mechanic that we found that, hey, I'm behind this hedge, but it doesn't. Unless we're just missing it. Do it. Yeah, it's maybe. possible. It's quite possible we're missing it. Now, there's hole down, which, but that's but, specifically ambush terrain. It says, right. So maybe there should be some kind of modifier for, I don't know what you would modify. What would you, the dice to roll, the hit? I, I don't know. We're, we're speculating. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, I, I do like this game. I think it's fun. Um, it really flowed very fast. I know this video is pretty long. And we spent a lot of time in real time just going through the rule book and stuff. But it's, I think it, we just picked it up pretty fast. I'm sure we made mistakes. But <laughs> as you're going, it's like, okay, now you do this. Now you do this. Now you do this. If you got really good at the rules, I could see this game actually moving oh, very quickly. It's it'd be four or five times faster yeah, than you'd be we were playing flying it. through it um i mean the the actual activation of each tank is pretty quick most of the time because yeah. it's fairly rare that you're actually firing a shot um you know maybe once a uh what do you call the three turn a turn yeah you know, yeah if you get a shot off every turn you're probably cranking through uh pretty good yeah and you fire two shots one that killed the Pershing, which is this completely random single shot heavy tank kill from long range. With a couple good cards. With cards. The well, card, it was all, the, yeah. And I got another shooting card. Another one? Bullseye. Play when one of your tanks fires at a target. When rolling to hit, you may re-roll any or all of the dice. Wow. Yeah. Or <laughs> you may re-roll a result on the hit location table. Nice. Yeah. That was a good card. Maybe the cards are a little bit OP. <laughs> yeah. Well, like I said. But they speed it, things up. Yeah. it. I have trouble seeing how to do this without the cards. Yeah, without the cards, it would be very, it would be a slog. The cards give a lot of, they boost up everything and they make things move faster. Yeah. I, well, I never would have made that kill without no cards. Nope. So I do like the cards. And they are, like I said, they have counters and there's, yeah. So it, it's not unbalanced. It's just, yeah. uh, it's a very different dynamic. Yeah. So overall, I do. I like this game. I'd play it again. We might play it again. There's a little campaign. Maybe we'll we'll go through that. And keep track of the stuff. Um, but I, I can see myself learning this and getting good at this a lot faster than some other tank games, uh, which are just like impossible to master for me, just because of the randomness. It's like you can never plan anything. <laughs> it's like, all right, okay, we're gonna flank around this way. No, you're not. 
Why not? Because you can't move. <laughs> or if you do move, it's like you move two inches. <laughs> and maybe next time you'll get to, yeah, it just, it drives me nuts, man. Uh, so having the ability to move consistently and scooting, giving you even more move. There's a lot more movement. There's it's a more, lot more movement. Yeah, uh, a lot this more says movement. a lot of motion. Um, yeah, which is good. I mean, look at where you are. You started away the hole over there. You're already over here. Yeah, this is true. <laughs> I mean, yeah, that, that would take a long time. And and what a tanker that to get from there to here would be like, would take forever. Yeah. So, I mean, we, it took a long time in real time just because we don't know what we're doing, but anyway. Yeah. So I, overall, what do you think? You like this game, Andre? Sure. I yeah. Like, it's, like it. uh, yeah, definitely needs uh, more play through to really get a feel for it and, yeah. um, have an understanding of the uh, tactics, but, uh, the way it's laying out right now it looks like it's really about trying to burn through the cards and um, having a plan and getting the right cards to execute it is kind of how i see this you know playing out playing the cards it's uh yeah remembering the cards big time so anyway yeah so we're gonna go ahead and call it now it's been a long game and uh, this video is pretty long now so again apologies for any uh mistakes we made i'm sure we made a lot um thanks again to warlord and i don't want to sound like i'm not bashing on what a tanker it's a fun game in its own way it's just a lot different as far as tank games go it's maybe more realistic if you want to call it that um more geared towards um simulating the uncertainty of war we'll say that and then uh, this game is more fast-paced i think it's faster paced game um but both are good tank games if you're a tank guy you know, you can't, you can't do any, you can't go wrong with checking out both of them. They're both worth getting. So anyway, thanks to Andre. Thanks for our live stream guys as well. Um, appreciate them coming by and sticking around with us this whole time and um, check out our channel sponsors, check out our Instagram stuff, our uh, Facebook, our Patreon, if you want to help support the channel, um, Twitter as well. And yeah, so let us know what you guys thought of this game. And uh, we'll see you guys next time. How long is that? That's got to be like an hour and a half video. Hour and 27 minutes. Woohoo! Might be one of our longest battles of all time. Uh, no. <laughs> but it's getting Game. on to the longer side of things. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. I mean, in video time, that's yeah, pretty long. Yeah, yeah, no, that's right. Real time, it's only been <sighs> almost three hours, which that's, that's pretty long. still decent. Yeah, we've gone closer to four before, though. <laughs> All right, let's see what these uh So you guys thought, uh, yeah, longest 45 minutes ever. We didn't even make it 40. We made 20 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> 20 minutes, exactly. We made 20 minutes in three hours. Yeah, that's insane. Uh what starter set did you get? Uh, I got, uh, they just sent me the starter set. So it had Soviets, British, Germans, Americans. Uh, it has multiple cards. Yeah. So there's like the, the common tanks have more. Like there's only one Pershing card. I think there was a couple of 75 mil Shermans, a couple uh, 76 mil Shermans. Germans had. Couple Panthers, couple Panzer IVs, different Panzer IVs too. Like the short barrel Panzer IV had the long barrel. So yeah, there's quite a few cards. There's even like tank ace named characters, or not characters, real life, real guys that were. I'll take pool. Real life, yeah. Pool was in there, in the Americans. It's kind of cool. Maybe next time we should play with one of those guys. <laughs> See cinematic tabletop. See, is so far I like what I see. Less janky than what a tanker. Yeah, definitely, definitely a lot easier to to plan. Uh, um, you know, plan something. Less less frustrating. How's that? Very less frustrating. A game should not have frustration dynamic built into it. Yeah, it's multiple. I always remember that podcast I listened to. The guy said that. The friction, you should, you know, one source of friction. That's it. Okay, you got your dice roll. That's that's friction. In your random movement, that's friction. One or the other. <laughs> Don't, uh, you know, when you start adding both of them together, then then that's when the frustration starts setting in.
Yeah. So anyway, um, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and call it, guys. So thanks, uh, thanks for hanging out with us. I like the game. I think we'll we'll play it again. Maybe we'll try out pool, see how he does, or start a little campaign. Now that we've run through it, I think we, uh, I think we will do better next time. And I'll read through the rules, and Andre, I'll read through the rules again. He'll be tasked with it, seeing all the finding all the mistakes we made. <laughs> Anyway, yeah, we're gonna. I'm gonna end the stream now. So I'm gonna work on the uh, editing tonight and tomorrow. Hopefully, it'll be out for patrons by tomorrow. I think uh, I think it'll be pretty fast to edit. Because there's not a whole lot of well, most of the time editing is like sound effects because I have to put sound effects in for every single gunshot or mortar shot. There was only two, what, two <laughs> shots. Oh no, I shot at that building. Too. So like three shots. Yeah, it'll go pretty fast. Even though the video is long, it'll, it'll go fast. So, sound effects for your tank burning up in the background. <laughs> yeah, I could have a fire going. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, we'll see you next time.